Yo, what's good people? You're locked into another Deep Tempo episode. Your show dedicated to all things dubstep slash 140. My name's Sibo, aka The Roving Dread, and this is my esteemed colleague. Colleague? Mr. DJ Cutter. How you doing, bro? What's going on, bro? Um, I'm yeah, not, I'm, I'm tired, man. You've had a bit of a sesh yesterday. Always. Always. <laughs> Always. What else is there to do in these times? Literally nothing. So what happens is we go down pub. Yeah. We go down sup pub. Pub was a bit shit. So I went to another one. <laughs> <laughs> then we went to Josh Bruce's house. Good. Just shout out Josh Bruce. Shout out Josh Bruce. Don't know why I'm talking like this. I don't know why you are either, to me. Actually, I know why, because there's a guy who Josh always rings up to do with work and he's from Bolton oh, right. and he talks like that mate <laughs> and it really really makes us laugh mate shout out all the Bolton heads <laughs> I don't know, do it. we have any Bolton heads yeah I don't know mate must have one no idea um, but here we are Sunday afternoon now <laughs> did come yeah. out a couple hours ago we've been chatting we've been sorting out the show it's been a yeah, busy week make sure you get it in innit? I didn't join you down the pub yesterday, though. I did have a couple of Guinnesses for my mum's birthday. You love your Guinness, don't you? Yeah, shout out, Mumsy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. For Friday, it was, actually. But, yeah, we celebrated that yesterday. And, uh, yeah, it's just been a mad one, keeping on top of the tunes. More tunes than ever. Yep. Inbox is getting silly. Yeah, it's very hard to go through it now, but there is always a bit of time I have, and I'm just going through them all, and I'm yeah. like, yeah, this this is good. This That's is sick. Yeah. I keep I try to keep up through the week, but then there's always just that those like last few days, you know, last few days of mm. stuff. It's hard to uh to double check those. But here we are, the second episode of um October. We're gonna end up with three in this one episode. In in this month, sorry. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. just lands like that. Um because we're not worried about the one in two weeks' time. Cause we've got a big show coming up. Um before we get into everything, we've got a few things. Of course we've got to wrap up. Got to just touch on um pull up blog yeah man it's been doing well man and licks on that I had, a, I had a little check i don't normally worry about these things but i thought since it's new we've put it out there how were, mm. how were people interested in it um as always if you haven't caught that we've got a new blog series on our website it's called pull up we're just going to be posting some of our favorite mixes, mixes. live streams and radio shows of the month so if you've got one producers and you're listening of course, just DM us. Just send us a little DM of your mix. If we can get around to listen to it, we will do, as always. The merch drop, we've been mentioning it, we've been teasing it. We can confirm, Kota. It's coming. It is coming. Um, next week, mm-hmm. at some point. We, I think it's 28th-ish. Our supplier has told us we'll be, we'll be getting it. So you can expect that going up either first yeah. or second week in November for sale. But as always... If you want to hear first about the merch, the first time we'll be telling anyone the date of when it drops, will be in our newsletter. Um, you can sign up for that in the link below in the description. And yeah, thanks for locking in. A few newbies lately, man. I've seen that also on YouTube, especially. Subscriptions have been popping up. Yeah, doing all right, mate. Big up all the new gang. There's some really nice uh, comments and messages on the last yeah. episode. If you're new around here, let us know where you're listening. Tell us. Um, we always love to hear where where our fam, Deep Tempo fam, is growing. And um, talking to Deep Tempo fam, the last episode, of course, man, we had to cover and mention the sad news about Cookie Monster. Yeah. Still a bit surreal on that one. Mm-hmm. Um, just hasn't set in yet. Um, but also, after we recorded, but before the episode came out, of course, because it takes a while to get this together, we had the news about Matt the Alien, man. Yeah. Which yeah. was a bit bonkers to us. Um, if you don't know about Matt the Alien, um, he had an accident, man. I'm sure those of you who are really locked in, tight on the scene, you'd have seen that news already. Um, he had a bike accident. It looks like he's got some um, paralysis. Is that the way of saying it? Yeah. We don't know. If it, I don't know if it's fully permanent yet or not. They're hoping, hoping it's not. Um, but yeah, essentially what, you know, the scene has really come out. We've seen lots of, lots of people have messaged us about it. We obviously, we mm. posted about it on our trailer for the last show. Cause like yeah. I said, it was before, it was after we recorded, but it was, which is why we didn't mention it, but it was before the episode came out. Yeah. So um, we posted about the GoFundMe page that they've set up for him. I think it's, you know, help him out in this crazy time, man. Medical bills, all of that. I don't know what the full situation is there. 
we know it works differently for those heads across the park uh, yeah. across the pond of course we have the the mighty nhs here which i think we, we have to thank yeah we've been thanking people for over this especially this pandemic time um but yeah two hundred thousand dollars was the target that's a monster number mm. but they're smashing it yeah they're but nearly there currently at 163,000 three in two weeks two hundred and seventy dollars yeah in a couple of weeks which is just crazy crazy to see the support come through for this fucking just sound geezer yeah um we haven't had the pleasure of meeting him but nah. I've seen lots of posts about the fest like people photos they've had with him at festivals and events and just people's memories of him man yeah. which I'm sure is helping him through this time what makes it even madder, Cutter, this accident supposedly happened on the 2nd of October. Yeah. We have got a tune from Matt the Alien, which we're pretty sure came in. If it didn't come on the 2nd, which must have been the morning of said bike accident, yeah. had, it came in the day before. It was either the 2nd or the 1st. Yeah. And it's a sick tune. It is. We would love to play it as like a whole, you know, solidify this message. Yeah. The link for the GoFundMe page will be in the description. Also, guys, if you want to go support Matt the Alien, if you're able to. If not, just share it if you're a big fan of his, even if you can't support him financially. Um, yeah, he DM'd us that on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. And his Instagram page is temporarily, I think, he's, he's hidden it or it's off. He obviously probably doesn't want to be bombarded with messages in this time. We can't see the full information about mm. what hap- what's happening with this track, whether it's still coming out. It, yeah. I imagine it may have been paused because of what's going on um, so we just we're not going to play it basically but yeah. I just feel you know it's a sick <laughs> what a tease it's a sick tune it's good we should we'll say I won't say the track name I was thinking about saying it but I won't say any of the information on it mm. but if we can find out anymore we'd love to bring out like bring it feature it in the show yeah. at a later date I'm sure hopefully Matt is on the, you know, however long it takes, it's on a road to recovery, man. Yeah, yeah. Getting back sure. to a sense of normal life. Crazy, crazy. So, love to Matt's family and his friends, of course. If you can support him, that would be sick. Talking of sick tunes, we got a big show. Oh, yes, we do, bro. We got some heavy ones. Mm. This one. Not too many. We're going straight in, people. Yeah. No messing about in this show. And um, yeah, as always, as we go along, comment which is your favourite. Let us know of the show, which are you feeling, which are you copying, which have you already copped if it's a past date. But as usual, lots of forthcoming material. Um, YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, all the gang. Let us know, give us some signal where you're listening from. First up, bro, do you want to say it? Shall I say it? You can say it, bro. bro. You can say this shit. Before we even mention whose name specifically it is, we have to talk about this. I'm sorry to de- delay the tunes, but the females in the scene. Oh yes, at the moment are top of the game. We've had a conversation about it. Yep, the stuff they're putting out. I hate the whole conversation of like you know, oh females. It's, we're not talking these. Oh, it's sick because they're females. I'm just talking about just in general. Mm. We were thinking about the biggest tunes. The ones we've enjoyed the most over the last, I'd say, two to three months, especially. Yeah. We just looked at the list and how female dominated it was. Yeah. For sure. Recently, before we get onto the names we're going to mention, we've Not Low, Woven mm-hmm. Fawns. Yeah. We always pick our favorite anyway, Not Producer, but Melissa in the mix, of course, yep. with Deep Medi. And she did that Deep Medi mix, which was good. Sick. Real good. Started off banging. I said to her, you got, you got a good radio voice. <laughs> yeah, she does actually. Yeah. <laughs> she does. I think it's it's all those those northern twangs up there, isn't it? Yeah. They've got a nice they got a, it's for the radio man. It's yeah. made for it. Made for it. Um and this first producer we're putting up needs no introduction really. We're talking about Kiva. Oh I love this tune. Well one of the well both, but there's one tune on here that I just It's ju- mad. Just loved. It's mad because I heard the snippet of course, it's coming on Deep Dark and Dangerous. Yes. You would have seen it announced 23rd of October. Mm. This show is coming out on the 21st. <laughs> Double check in. <laughs> Always get the dates wrong. What's forthcoming and what's not. So it's coming on Friday, guys. Where the Reaper stood. Big tune. Big sound. Yeah. You know, it's, um, it's discussed it with Kira before. Like stadium-esque music. Like, yep. Can be played in a Deep Dark club but you could equally play this i could see this you know 
lighting, big stadium, big sound. It's the vocal treatment that she drops on there as well. Fully sick. And then the next track though, all these things. Mm. You sent a screen grab of the track name just saying, yeah. bro, this one. This one. Yeah. I messaged you like a day later saying when I got round to having a big listening session mm. or two days later, I come, bro, that fucking tune. It's big. That sub bass is <sighs> naughty. It's huge. She clever, man. She's it's it's just banging. She clever. It's banging. She knows. Kiva, deep, dark, and dangerous. Um, where the reaper stood. Twenty third of October. But this track, all these things, we're gonna get into it. Like we said, we're not easing you in this show, guys. We're going straight. Straight off. on. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Uh uh uh. It's just so. Ugh, I love the like little change up in the the sev- uh, the second section. Yeah, yeah. Just goes a little bit harder. It does. Yeah, and it's it just like change naughty, up. Yeah, naughty. Gritty, yeah. yeah. It's really good. It's otherworldly. That yeah. tune. It just. Oh, it just takes you somewhere dark, man. The and like yeah. you said, the low end. Yeah, you need the a system on. for this tune, mate. Oh, I can't. I want to go out so. Badly. I know, man. So bad, dude. Yeah, we just can't. We can't do mm. shit, all, mate. Oh, Koi Dub's on today. Oh yeah, high rise. We can't reach. We thought about it. Yeah. It would have been a lot, though, man. Yeah. Because I've got to get the show ready today, edited out. Yeah. This is you mean making adult decisions, bro. So if you, yeah, you don't know Koi Dub's down in uh, Bristol at high rise today. That would have been a. Two and a half it, yeah. hour drive, yeah. day sesh, come back at like, we wouldn't have got back to what, half 11. Yeah. Then a show to prepare. And obviously I'm doing, I'm on an animation course at the moment. Yeah. Which is like an online thing outside of work to like up my skills, which is taking up, you know, especially Monday evenings and Thursday evenings at the moment. So 
<laughs> would have been a bit much to ask, I think, to pull that one off. But yeah. Yeah, it's a it's, shame. Yeah. It's a shame Bristol's a little bit far out for us. It's not what it is. Not it's, a mission. It's not a mission, but it's like not Americans like, are hearing like a two and a half hour drive yeah. thinking. It's just nothing. It's not down the road though. It's big for us UK man. Yeah. We don't we can't <laughs> we don't travel like you Americans, man. We're not even that big, are we? Um, no. Hold on. But yeah, Kiva. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Kiva deep dark and dangerous. <laughs> um just just a huge like you're saying like she just keeps bringing it you smash yeah. it and then it, it's as an artist when you hit those sort of levels like i don't know how i don't know how every artist feels about you know where they're at in their careers and if they feel like they've peaked but you know just when you think she can't bring that's one of my favorite keep tracks yeah yeah, same, yeah. That's, that yes. instantly you know when now when i look across the arsenal of her tunes I've, I've loved the stuff she's put out as as you know on the her alchemy yeah, like a self release stuff. Yeah, really yeah. good. But it's it's nice to have the like the separate so have that self release and that's deep dark and dangerous where she goes in with the heavy. Yeah, yeah. It comes with a slightly different yeah. vibe on that on her own stuff. But um yeah. So just smashing it, man. Twenty third of October. Deep Dark and Dangerous Gang, give you a locked in, show us some signal and uh let us know. Of course you're copying that one. If you're, if you're not, if then you're, you're weird, bro. <laughs> weird. Weird. Um, weird is weird. But yeah, that that is definitely definitely one of my favorite kiwi tracks mm-hmm. oh yes at the moment banging 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 release um and yeah where as we said where the reap stood big stadium sound uh, the vocals man just yeah she just kills it yeah man she's merging that sort of the, her vocal side of things and that deep dark mm. sound just so sick in a minute um very very intrigued to see what comes next from her i don't, don't know how she can She's just the air, man. She's just up there. She's just on that. She's another level, man. Level. She's like probably one of the most popular artists in the scene at the moment as well. Like, yeah, but I think she's. I think with a lot of artists, artists and that, how they, how you handle and how present you are on the social. You know, she's one of those that's active. Yeah, I think you know when we look at across all the artists who are active on the socials, who seem to, what's the word? I guess just let their 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 fans and their audience and their listeners and you know colleagues as well like give yeah. back yeah all, all that stuff i just in terms of interaction anyway like feeling like you're accessible yeah active. Of course. she's active you see her on the socials one of many artists out there who were uh, i guess doing it. it's part of the game i know not yeah. everyone likes that aspect of it some people don't need to either man no some people don't you at know all. some people just need to put out just put out bangers yeah like some people don't even need any social media they just got a name on the flyer of a, an event and then they're selling it out every time gone like mallard doesn't really use the socials apart from when he's running yeah but I th- and that's part that was i think he mentioned it wasn't it? it was part of him his commitment like yeah was because the minute he stops people are probably gonna mess him up oh where's where the bro yeah you're not running man um yeah, it was to do with that crazy ex seal guy, wasn't it? He read that book, You Can't Hurt Me. David Goggins, that's why he started running, I remember. Is that why? Yeah, yeah I've, it's, I've been on my reading list for a while. I feel like you. Have you spoke to him via a message, Deep Tempo about it? Yeah, because he, he wrote, you he messaged about it, and I said it's literally on my, it's on my yeah. audible, audible list that I haven't just got through yet. Yeah, man. It's a lot to listen to, especially all these tunes, let alone books. Mm. Um, but yes, we spoke about. We touched on the female producers smashing it at the moment. This next one, Claire, just so happened to bless our show last. Yes. I was going to say last week, two weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, as we're in a collab. Yeah. We'll give you a second to probably guess who that was. You're right. It was Nasha. <laughs> yeah. And that was the track where we couldn't say the word. Oh, God. Yeah. That's embarrassing. I'm still embarrassed. What was the word again? Um, matrimony. <laughs> that was it. Matrimony. Matrimony. <laughs> Because oh, honestly, I don't get how we didn't work that out. No, it's we still such a simple s- word to astonished. say. Oh. No, I don't know. Just how thick we are. Um, have, have we got the good font today? No, I, I was gonna bump it up. That's what I was gonna do. I can just select it all and just like do that. Yeah. Boom! Look at that. Larger. Larger. I mean, it now doesn't give us an excuse if we can't read something. <laughs> if we butcher a name coming up. It's funny you talk about large when you say larger. Have I ever told you that story about Outlook when I went to the bar? No, what's it? What? I don't know what. As soon as you mention Outlook, you're going to tell me so a story. It was just a story. Basically, we're at this 
that me and Martin got there before you, didn't we? Oh yeah. And we went oh, straight yeah. to this bar in the in the site. And on on the top of the on the menu thing, I thought it said lager. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll have a lager, please. Turns out it was just saying larger. So like, what? I don't know what lager is. Like beer then, and it just got really confusing. No, and we're both no. just there, like, what is it? La- was that, was that, that the name of the bar? No, like, basically you could have a, I don't know, a drink, but oh, have it small or larger. I was like, I have a lager, please. <laughs> <laughs> In, we call it a lager. Like, don't, yeah. Well, it, there is a different. There is a difference. Yeah, but pan of lager. I just yeah. always remember that. I was like, fucking hell, that's a good start. Yeah, that's that's the way to start. Yeah, not the way to start the show though. Either. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk today either. I'm fucking. That's because you're obsession, bro. Mm. Um, Nasha, and also yeah, coming on. That boys. Photo sound. Photo sounds. That boys. Uh, Canem and Unki, of course. They are out there at the minute trying to sign some hot property. Oh. Producers, if you're out there, if you've got some stuff there, and we know they're actively, actively looking for some bangers. Sound. If you think your sound will fit as well, you know what the kind of stuff they've put out so far. Yeah, we'll see. This one only photo sounds five. Yeah, well, we were saying in the chat about how they're like sneaky good, aren't they? Like, we yeah, like to use sneaky good a lot now. Yeah. Always saying it, but like, Fat Kid and Fire is another one. It's just got so many good releases, and Photo Sounds is kind of the same. Yeah, in their in, in that, that little small last yeah. so far, but like, everything, everything they probably like Rockstone, Canon. That was a banging sign into them. Yeah, get jump. This on one's that. sick. This Nasha one. Yes. Um. Yeah, we spoke about Nasha as a producer, you know, a few times now this yeah. year. Um, Proper improving, isn't she? Yeah, like, you know, like she's, she's in the space of a year. Yeah, she won't mind us. You, she, you know, she's in that category of, you know, up and comer. Yeah, for sure. But like, you only even use the word up and comer on that, is that you've already taken a notice of. Mm-hmm. You know, they've, they've dropped you snippets and like yeah, little samples of tracks here and there that are just really, really good. This EP. Mm. is solid it's oh it's so good yeah yeah the the tracks um amongst it sorry I'm, I'm there like changing tabs and the um contortion mm. I want to make sure I said that right um yeah contortion EP my favourite track on the EP no wonder it was named that yeah it's so good just edges it it's got all that grit yes yeah, all that darkness I also happen to love Jitter Dub though I can very see that being in a Ruben Dread mix, mm. that tune. Um, it's got that stepper swing vibes. Um, but also, yeah, Cleo, uh, Cleo and Bunker. Yeah. Um, Bunker with Grizzo, MCing on the track. Um, I think he's coming later in the show, though, on another one, I believe. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll talk think about that remember. later, yeah. though, much later in the show to tease you. Um, but yeah, just just a fucking banging EP across the the board, man. But we had to go for the A track contour. Oh yeah, this is so serious. This one It's it's banging. She's absolutely killed it with this one. It's coming on Bandcamp Day, so that's going to be the next one. You're going to be hearing that a lot. Yes, sixth of November. How so, is, how is it coming towards November, bro? Yeah. How? Wow, well, we're, we're mid October. And we we got we got another show coming in just before the oh, end no. of this month, so I think next show is going to be very bank camp day heavy. Oh, fully, yeah. It's going to be bank camp day, bank camp day, bank. Maybe it was just like a bank camp day special. Might as well be. Who knows? Maybe we'll put that out there, producers. If you are dropping something on the sixth of November, yeah, and you want it covered in the show, this is forthcoming. Then just get us a track from it, even if the full EP is not finished yet. Let us know the names of them, whatever. Yeah, just get that in, and we'll make it like a special. Um, but yeah, Bank Camp Day on the 6th and then all the usual outlets on the 13th for this one. But um, check this one, Nasha, Contortion. Like we said, man, these these female producers at the moment taking the piss. I don't know what they're on, but they're on something mad, these yeah. girls. What's going on, guys? I think they feel like the guys need to step the game. Yeah, they do. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> but they're just uh, bringing out heat. No, they are. Contortion, um, Nasha. Photo sounds. Let's go.
that switch up, mate. Again, man. Come in with that grit. Mm. This show's got a lot of grit, man. It is. It's got a lot of these sick vibes it's... in it. The percussion in that track. Yeah. It's like, uh, just sort of the thing I like. Second time around, I listen to it, the EP, and I listen, through, you listen to a track again, and you're like, oh. Mm. You, I, st- you think, I think about more about how she's arranged it, how she's filled. Yeah. Just the sound. It's such. Uh, it's nice. Yeah. Killing it. Starts very Smashing subtle, it. but then like just just switches into that. <laughs> <laughs> that how did it go again? <laughs> Can't wait to cut that bit off. <laughs> Naughty man. Oh, Love that man. sort of bass sound. Like, like, you like you said, producers. guys. Like we said, photo sounds not messing about. Nasha coming in hard. Um, trying to think. She's she's uh, she's released on a few labels now, man. But I suppose in some sense collabs. Mm-hmm. But you know, certain artists wondering where are they make are they making their homes or they they don't care. You know, they're putting out with whoever they yeah. want to support their work. Um, I'm always intrigued with these upcoming artists how they, you know, some people like to make their home, don't they? They release with a couple labels, yeah, or just one maybe. Some get that strict on it. Some spread the love around, man. Whoever yeah. wants to show love to their work, but I'll be intrigued to just see how she continues to grow. Yeah, what she brings further, man. Well, the, and... the first track I heard from her was that rhythm track she made like year about oh, a year. Oh God, ago. yeah. It was actually a decent rhythm track as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, like, maybe she was. I don't know if she was like more into that sound at that point, but now maybe changed it up to maybe. Uh, she's t- she knows we spoke about uh, a little bit with the uh, influx homies. Yeah, with Tear Kambara, they mentioned about her sound and again loving it. Um, yeah. And she's she done some remixes and stuff for them. I feel like she's been on a couple of the projects, hasn't she? But uh, just wanted to, before I forget, shout out, if you want to go support Nasha, it's G-N-A-S-H-A. That's how you spell Nasha. Uh, it's Nasha Music underscore on Instagram. If you want to go support her over there, go find her on SoundCloud too. Then we will shout out the Instagrams because that's where we're most active yeah as you guys probably know you see our fucking silly faces and clips every day <laughs> every day um but that's what we do it's just a shame the reach doesn't get anywhere anymore yeah some yeah but socials are all over the place aren't they mm. but we'll keep doing what we're doing mm-hmm. every now and again one bangs just breaks through the yeah the noise and um this is what we're here to do we're here to support the eyes we're here to keep shouting just to give them another reason to shout about the great work they are doing and it and if you're feeling them Go support, go cop it. And do you know what? I'm just going to make a random announcement. Just decided right now. Um, guys, let us know your favourite of the show. And I will, whoever comments down below, I'll just put you in a pool. And whoever's I like the most, why? tell me why you like the track the most. Uh, I'll post you some Deep Tempo stickers, man. These bad boys right here. I'll post you a few of them, all right? Go on. Let yeah, us me. know down below in the comments. Um, do you know what? I'll just I will say YouTube because that's probably the main place I will look. Um, no SoundCloud as well. Mm. YouTube and SoundCloud. Let us know there your favorite track of the show. I'll post you some yeah. stickers, man. Um, if you're copying over that Nashua, we'll keep it one so far. Let us know. Next up, bruh. This is a gangster tune. This is a gangster dungeon vibes tune. Yeah, we're hoping we can play it. Yeah, might be cut out, so you might not even see this section. <laughs> we'll clear it up with him afterwards. I'm pretty yeah. sure we can. We can usually play everything he sends us, um, unless he's he, he normally words it in a way if he's just looking for feedback on stuff, which wasn't the case. So um, this one, man, let him know, man. Early, we're coming early with this, I believe. I don't think this is coming in time, like no. real, real soon. But we've got a forthcoming bit. From Hatcher's album. Yeah, we mentioned it many a times on previous episodes. Yeah. What have, we, what have we played so far? There's an album coming. Yeah, we've what have, um, we played that. We um, played a bunch of stuff, mate. Yeah, I'm just going to have what? to go on the, on the old record boxy and make sure we one, pick it up. Rusty right. Trumpet or something. Is that one? one but is, of... it, is it still definitely coming? Because this is the thing. Like, we played that screen bit a long time ago. <laughs> that ain't out come out. Is that mm. on the album? I would suspect. Oh. Maybe, could Maybe. be. I'd hope not, though, so we can have that dub forever. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> um, Don't think many people have got that, have they? N- no. There's the uh, Koki collab. Yes. Um, Somewhere. Viper. Viper. We played that one. Yeah. That must be coming on the album, I believe. Oh, no. I think they are putting an EP together, actually. 
Yeah. I don't know anymore. All we know is that there's an album coming. We've spoke about it. Yeah. The guy's Next working. year, isn't it? Next year's album. Do you think, do you think it's early next year? I this is what so. I asked him to clarify. Yeah. I messaged him. I thought, bro, let us know when this is coming. I can't imagine he'll drop it this side of Christmas. No, he's probably in no rush. There's no point anyway. And, he, and all the collabs he's getting done as well. He might yeah. as well just continuing to get more and more That's and it. just make it into some mad one. And this track we've got mm-hmm. is a collab. Yes, it is. And it's with another Don. Yes, it is. Another old school original Don. Who looks like me with when I've got bald head. Oh, yeah. Mate, I had to put that on. <laughs> I just seen it and was like, fuck it out. I know, yeah. It's hilarious. Loads of people actually mentioned that. Did they? Yeah. Go on. Said a little like N type. I was like, oh, it's N type. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Actor in end type. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Forthcoming album material. We don't even know the track name. No, it's just. What's it's it down as? Hilarious. It's down as just fucking. Hatcher and. Um, Hatcher Colob 2020. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There so, you go. yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> um, yeah. Loving it though. Dungeon vibes. Um, takes back to a specific era. It's got yeah. that sort of cryptic minds biome flavor ish um i'm here for it feeling it and uh we're gonna put it in like we said you might not see this bit if you have to cut it out yeah, of the podcast maybe. that makes my life a little bit more difficult but, but hey, it should be okay yeah and we can just clip it up and put it out at a later date maybe yeah of course. insert it into a next podcast yeah what we could do no yeah. point in wasting no, footage no we'll insert it in but yeah let's go for it man um hatcher end type Insert track name. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I think there's a Batman sample in there. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Let's go. Bane, isn't it? Yeah. I dropped in the dark. <laughs> Maybe it's called Darkness. Could be. Could be. It's quite a dark tune. Yes. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You really adopted the dark. I was born in it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man, and then it was nothing to me but brightness. sounds Love it. nice intricate little sounds in that man yeah why does bane talk like that i need to know this. like what is that about the whole mask thing yeah that, but why would you talk like this <laughs> <laughs> tom hardy plays right. really good him really well in that film though yeah he does the, I mean, the old school bane though in the poison ivy one with uh, yeah, i've seen that one have you not no. mate it's hilarious man he does i don't even think he talks in that he's yeah. just like some idiot that Poison Ivy bosses around. Is it? I'm sure. It's, it's a, been a long time yeah. since it did. I, we, I used to have it on VHS, man. Yeah. That's why I know. 
Yeah, Batman's good man. One of the best films I've seen actually. The oh the new the ones. new yeah, the yeah, ones yeah, that yeah, they yeah. were banging absolutely. With banging. Bane, the Joker one obviously the guy oh, yeah. he died didn't he the guy yeah. played. Yeah. Oh, I can't talk about that man. He's he's one of my favorite. Was he? Yeah, Heath yeah. Ledger, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh mate, <sighs> can't be talking about that man. He's one of my. He's probably one of my actor man crushes. If I had one. You no, gay? I, no. <laughs> 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 nah, but he's here's just. A, here's a first for you. Love... He's coming out on podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is the love something to say about that. But I think she will. Yeah, she's. I think she's told me I'm like one percent. More than one percent, something. I don't know. Do we have to put percentages on it? No, I just like Heath Ledger. I think he's a sick actor, man. He, you know, he's brilliant. And Knight's Tale is one of my favourites. I think that was like probably. I wouldn't do this kind of things in in today's life just because I'm a, an artist and designer. Mm. But probably downloaded a Knight's Tale off like LimeWire when I was. Oh like, yeah. But I don't know. It would have been about twelve or something. Who remembers LimeWire? Oh, <laughs> all the all the fucking. The viruses, you viruses, have that. yeah, oh, just like me. dodgy fight. You spend like t- sixteen hours getting like one track, and then yeah. it wouldn't even be like good quality or downloading your end dubs album. No, 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 no. Fuck yeah, now. Um, I mean, it's how the music spread so quickly, wasn't it? Though, and then, like grime dubstep benefited in in a yeah. sense. Yeah, it, yeah. You know, music wasn't getting bored, but like you know all the artists back then were getting you know booked across the pond like they were you know oh yeah sure. going to the states to play yeah. so it wouldn't have spread as quickly if they didn't have you know yeah it wouldn't have blew up as quickly no way no way man um crazy crazy um but yeah man, hatcher and yeah. type two dons collabing on a project i'm here for it it's I'm like original just, dons man like i'm not sure i could take much mm. i was probably why i messaged i woke up and i was like i can't message i forgot to actually ask the question when i replied to the him first and did it through um because it was late and i didn't listen to it till the next morning um yeah i'm just teasing these bit yeah. throughs like what else is coming the full project i mean i love it i love it. i love these kind of sounds anyway i'm here for it you know we just yeah spoke sure. about my love for the on switch and mm. the, yeah it's got that in it for sure and, um obviously we took, and well we haven't had a bit from him oh uh-huh. His, his dad passed away recently, didn't he? And he didn't do any music. Right. Love out to switch for that. But I was, oh no, I was just thinking about him and um, Quizma and Kelly Dean. We haven't had mm. anything from their little yeah their, their project recently, man. Yeah. Keep an eye out for that. See if we missed anything. Uh, but yeah, Hatcher and Type. The album's coming some point, twenty twenty one. I'm I'm fucking gas for it. Isn't it mad? Yeah. Oh, like dubstep wouldn't even be a thing if it wasn't for these two. Well, well partly. Yeah. And that mad. They all, all their dons from that era, man. It's mad to think. Do you know what? I um I had that that fucking dub files DVD out. Mm. I'll need to. I'm, I'm gonna do a little story post on that, man. I'm gonna you just should tag everyone. And yeah, just give should, them a man. little respect. I think I've watched that. Them. Yeah, because it's on. You can watch it's it on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't, guys. Um, Is that when hatches in it? We've got like all the other artists like um, artwork. Yeah. Uh, and, like, distance. Scream. Um, screams in it obviously at the start. Benga, Slaughter Mob. Um. <sighs> And there's like so names you don't destroy. hear about anymore as yeah. well on it. So search and destroy. And I'm, not man sure. um, I'm pretty sure one of them is a big old big Cyrus, time Cyrus. house house DJ now. Mm. Um, What's Cyrus doing these days? I used to love Cyrus. Too. Yeah, I just I think he's one of them. He's no, he, man, that, that's it. He went into he puts it. He's on one of his socials. Like I used to play dubstep, but now he's a banker. Like I think he makes too much money to come back to making tunes. <laughs> Fair enough. I think he's made his money in banking. Intelligent guy. Uh, but yeah, I love, yes, yeah, Random Trio, of course, Cyrus, all them sounds. We spoke about it in the. Uh, yeah, we did. Yeah. It's in Children of Men. Yeah, the movie. The tune come in. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like that, this is Dubstep album. And they had Cyrus tunes on that. Yeah. For real. Oh, I loved all that. Like, And then you had like distance stuff. And you had, like. Mm. I've got a couple in here. The Cyrus Chess. Is it Cyrus and Distance on the Chess Plate, I think? Yeah. Um. Oh, Spider Man. No, I haven't. Oh, what's that one? Chokehold and, and this, Surrender. Yeah, yeah, sick one. Surrender, that was it. Um, but yeah, fucking hell, man. All these dons. Mm. It's so good to see. Like, big respect for all of them who's still doing it. Still, 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 just, still, uh, yeah, still doing it, man. Like, yeah, they got, they're older now. They've got families and shit, but they're still, 
they're still bringing the fucking heat after Absolutely. all these years but you know they created something so good back in what early 2000s why would they not that's it. carry it through you know that's it if you love the music no and I think I've got like even more respect for those who are still doing it because a lot of let's face it, I've got respect for those who aren't to be fair that everyone could do what the hell they want man. yeah they're still part we wouldn't have seen it weren't for them but I mean a lot of people have gone off and done other genres or left the music entirely because they've gone on yeah. to make more money and other stuff I guess or just you know gone to explore other sounds which they've got the right to do but I mean just yeah. for these dons man Hatcher of course still doing it with Hatched featured a lot of that recently end type we didn't deal Always oh, smashing it, man. Yeah, man. Always bringing. He's brought some heat lately, man. Was uh, the last one was Marshall, wasn't it? Yeah. Sick heat. But moving on. <laughs> let us know if you're gas for the Hatch album, man. Um, but yeah, next up, um, fresh reaction from me on this one, bro. You got this little sneaky in the DMs, did you, bro? Always getting these pun life ones from uh, Days Plate. Yeah, good old Days Plate. Day, 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 day. Legends, man. Um, this next project, I'm excited to hear it. I want to witness this. Um, majority. You have to say it like that as well. I don't know why. Is it? It's just. The... It's just the accent. Yeah. Has to, it's got to be majority. majority. It's like if Vandal's saying it, that's yeah. how you do it for some so reason. To say. Any pun live stuff though, I suppose, because it's not in unbased. Yeah, it? yeah. Um, but this a vinyl only project. Oh, I am so happy that you sent us these as well because yeah. they are so good. Both tracks are great. Mm. Both real good. We have um, Leah. Yeah. I'm sorry, is that meant is to be it... Liar or is it Lear? I think it's Liar. Yeah. And um, No Diggity. Yeah, and you know the sample from that, don't you? No Diggity. Yeah. It's yeah. from another track or something. Um, oh, have I heard this? Oh, uh, you might have heard it last week when we were going, but only through laptop speakers. Yes, when we were doing a little, we had a little organisation yeah, last week, didn't we? Yeah. We were planning. You know, just trying to plan out some future things, some future just, movements. Just a little December thing we're thinking about doing, yeah. basically. For, like, the whole year. Yeah. Yeah, no. We'll, we'll, we'll tease that one now, tell you more later. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this is sampled from an old jungle track. Yeah. If I remember correctly. It might come to me while it's playing. Yeah. But 30 copies of this, like we said, vinyl only, transparent vinyl. No digitals, pun life 08. Um, yeah, 30 units, man. It's going on one of them frozen plate flexes. Yeah. If you want it, 30th of October. Don't sleep on it, man. Um, yeah, majority. No diggity. This tune, yeah. This tune. I think you showed me where it was from last week. Did I find it? Yeah. Oh. You did? Because it's in my Discogs, in my record yeah, collection. Yeah, I'll get it up. Yeah. So I remember. Oh, let's, let's yeah, go. let's go, man. This is a big tune. Love the switch on this. Let's go in my discogs. Check my vinyl yeah. collection. Do you know what as well about Pod Life? I love, I love their branding. Yeah, sick. The little cars and stuff.
Yo. Yeah, I can't, mate. I, I haven't even got my whole Discogs on, like my whole collection on there, but I'm trying to do like a find and search on the web quickly. It's not, it's not quite working. It's all right. Or the, I think people will know if they're into the jungle and stuff. Yeah, if you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a jungle, not a jungle based track. I think it's a jungle track from. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you showed me it, man. Yeah, I've, I, I did. I, it will be on here because I remember starting out with that like sort of era of kind of yeah. like, oh, was that it there? Yeah, I dope see. skills. No diggity. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, and it's it's a sample from even that is sample from Black Street. I think mm -hmm. it was yeah the old like is it R and B band? But yeah, True Players, dope skills, no diggity. If you got that's a yeah, look at that 1997 man. That's like 1997. I'd say like six, seven, eight is really there's like a blur of like the tunes around there. I wouldn't be able to like just hear a track and be able to oh it's definitely that yeah. year. But that's like the era of like you know when you come of age and you actually can remember your memories. You know, my dad in the mixing room. Yeah. yeah. Just I'd imagine I could just picture him like he'd start a mix and he'd you just put one blend up like you know, obviously only vinyl then. Forty five minutes, he'd just be like, nah, it's no good. Start again. Yeah. Start again. And I'll be in there like for hours. I'm oh, happy to just sit there and watch it. Yeah. Just do this the whole time. <laughs> just sit there, my legs can't even touch the floor on the oh. seat. Oh, 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 Jesus, I've booted the camera, mate. I've booted the camera. You were getting excited. This guy today, honestly. I've been on We my said bed. it was going to happen, didn't we? Yeah. Dropping Jeez. stuff off the bed every five Jeez. minutes. Nice. Fucking up the camera. That's going to be a rough cut as well. It's going to be rough, mate. Just, show, just flash the rest of your bedroom. <laughs> oh, the corner of your bed. Oh, well, this... people are tall. Actually, it's been in a vlog or two anyway, hasn't it? Yeah, I'll say mine. Go DT. It's tapes. a decent sized room. It's decent, isn't it? Got a... You know, you know how we roll here. <laughs> Got the double bed. Big baller. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I swear I invited someone around. Remember last year, I was like, you can sleep in my bed or something. <laughs> I think it was like Quizma or someone like that. Oh, you mean on the podcast as a joke? Yeah, as a joke. Yeah, it was someone like that. I feel like it was someone. Or Raz. It might have been Raz. Yeah. Some weird shit. Or Spec. Was it someone on No, that? it wasn't Spec. I think it's someone over it. It was like Oz <laughs> or New Zealand based on it. Someone over that side, I think. I don't know why. I mean, offering your bedroom out to producers on the show. <laughs> like, this guy's weird. Yeah, I'm proper weird. Man. We just <laughs> drop this shit. Get a reputation. Yeah. Um, Being a weird dude. Fuck it now. Majority uh, pun life party. Uh, 30th yeah, October. Man. Vinyl Sick. only. Um, banging, banging. Of course, it's probably the vinyl only because of those samples yes. involved. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure what's on the other one. Um, For sure. God, I really know, man. Got COVID, man. No. <laughs> um, have you? No. No diggity. Um, yeah, don't don't sleep on that one, guys. 30th of October, transparent vinyl, 30 units only. Um, nice little one there. We're blessed to have the digis of that, bro. Very blessed. Yes. Um, whoa. Release. What a release. Next up, one that we're both um, excited and disappointed by yeah probably never said that on the show before no we're disappointed to see this released yeah um, but it will make sense to you very soon uh, another one coming on the 30th of October um, what, what what date is that what like what day of the week is that why is the first, it's another Friday isn't it that's why it's the following Friday um, Tefa Tefa. Tefa. This guy. He's back again. Again. I mean, we've mentioned before, the amount of tunes this guy has is yeah. unreal. Yeah, it's taken. Like, it is so, like, crazy. It's kind of, we shouldn't be that surprised that we've seen so, so many releases. Yeah. Um, I guess I didn't imagine so many in 2020. But, if, I mean, if you think he's, like, going to run out of tunes anytime soon. Oh, like, 2021 is probably be, I could see Tefa having just as many as he has this year. Yeah. Like, he's just killed it. I think he did say he'll send the next pack through at some point. The 2021 pack. Is it? The dub pack. Go on. Which will probably be like a lot of the releases That'd right here. Nice. But there's so many on there that aren't going to be released as well. Yeah. Because there's, there's no there's no way you can release them all. No. That's I think crazy. We like have to kind of filter out which ones have been released so far yeah. and which ones haven't. And... Also, some of the packs we sent, they weren't even the tracks weren't titled then. We no. just got them as like they're just numbers A one A to A like seventeen. Yeah, I've got or some of the A ones are so good as well. Bang so bang good. Um, that, that's the old pack as well. That's like the one before. Yes, but these tracks that are coming out on Albion Collective, yeah, 
they were named when we got them yes. actually yeah, yeah. um the a track in particular it's a little bit sore oh you take it away my favorite tune yeah i love that taking it away taking it away giving it out to everybody it away to, yeah i mean everyone knows now i mean i put it in pretty much every mix um this year toasting yeah. is just yeah it's one of the, the second drop year, though. it's more the second drop for me on that yeah it is well, i like the first on it still but it's definitely but about the second the drop. second drop is the ring 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 yeah it's I just a lot of people commented on it about you know ddd put it in that yeah mix. everyone so we got to see the reaction that. to that one live in the comments obviously yeah um yeah i've got a sick double with that big tune. such a sick double like yeah. I, I might just record it and put it on my instagram just because i don't think i'm gonna get a mix out anytime soon no it's no, just got honestly, bigger things planned in the double i've got on that is fucked like, yeah, it's yeah. actually changed my life. <laughs> changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> you were hilarious. But yeah, Toasting. Yeah. Um, we're not going to play it, obviously. We played it before. Yeah. We played it, played it as, as a dub. dub. Um, Did it go in a dub special or was it just in a show? I feel like it was in the second dub special or first. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because we got that back in February, man. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, because I asked for it. Because I was listening to Teffa's show reel. Show reel, yeah. And I was like, yo because I was before Ministry of Sound gig I was like I need some of these tracks like, I only wanted like I was only going to be cheeky and ask for two he sent me 40 tunes mate. Yeah. I was like Whoa, that's why I love it he, he sent us that February pack and then he sent another one in March like, yeah probably, like, but it wasn't like a month it didn't feel like a month later it was like a couple of weeks we were like where the fuck have all these come from yeah. But he did say that he was going to send more. Mm. I was just shocked at how many it was and yeah. I thought he was like oh he's probably just finishing up like a few tracks like three or four of them no so I've got over 20. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking hell. And I don't mean, not, you know, just pack of crap, like. Oh, it's just so stuff, like, good. Seriously, like, basically near finished. I mean, I'm sure he's probably tweaked many of them since we've had them. Mm. And they may have been remastered or mastered by someone else. Um, I'd, I'd, on the dealings with the labels that he's released with. I'd love to see him do a toast in VIP, man. And just yeah. see what he can do again with that second drop. If he yeah. could make that synth... You know which one I'm on about. Yeah. The rum 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 rum. <laughs> if he can make that even better somehow. Somehow. If it's I'll, possible. If it's possible, because I love yeah. that. That sound, when I first heard that, I was yeah. like, this is the best. Maybe thing. you won't tweak the sound, but it'll just give it like a different arrangement. Yeah. You know. I'd literally I would pay him. I would pay him fucking good money to do this. VIP. Yeah. I suppose Albion kind of collect they they kind of own that VIP of that tune now though, don't they? Yeah. Which is kind of mad. Bro, you, you guys, you've some mashed it with the signing on this one. We need to talk about the other tracks, though, because we're going to play the other tracks as well. Yeah, we're going to play them. We had both of these. They show a different vibe. Like, that's that's what I kind of like about Albion's selective on this as an EP. It doesn't just show one aspect of Tefa, because he's versatile, man. And, yeah, Gelato and Luna, we both had as well. Mm -hmm. Again, again yeah. around the same time, really feel that. I think we're going to go for Gelato, aren't we? Yeah, that's yeah, we'll go with that, play. yeah. It shows a different vibe of um of Tefa and um yeah, I suppose we've talked enough. Let's yeah. play the damn track, man. Yeah. Uh we 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 are good. Toasting is I don't it's, think we can't it's still our favourite track. Oh it's, go listen it's, to it's my favourite track of the ever. preview. I yeah. love it. I just still it's love bang, it. Bang it, bang it. I must say Tom, the guy who runs uh Albion Collective, he did warn us it was coming out. So he did. it's not a surprise. No, yeah. So I think we yeah, were just hoping yeah. it wouldn't be this year, would we? Yeah, I was like... Oh, What's did. killer is more that there's, like, no events on. So you've only... I mean, you did get some online mixes out of it. Okay? Yeah. But, like, there's been no events for us to go to or, like, play at. Well, I did play that track, though. Where did you play? At, at Ministry. I played Toaster. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Ministry, though. <laughs> that was, like, a week before. Yeah, yeah. Lockdown. But one show. I just don't... That crowd didn't appreciate that sort of tune, though. I don't think... No, no, but the deeper stuff. Yeah. I mean, they were there for the like heavy, more heavier rhythm, shit. rhythm management. But that, that tune, like, I thought, would get a reaction. Didn't really. Get I say one. that you people still loved it. Everyone commented on you said. Yeah, I was, loved it. it was, I think you bought something different because that's the thing. That's why you were probably the most different person on the, in that room. Yeah, it probably was on that booking. People could be like getting connecting back with a deeper roots, man. Hey, that's it. And that's a lot awesome. of those people, I know a lot of people who go to those shows and they're into that old school sound as well yeah so he still bought the heavier aspect yeah of. yeah for sure I played yeah. like big boy so tailored it for that crowd yeah man yeah oh yeah 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 that was a sick night man i, mean, I so want to go out again uh, uh tefa gelato albion collective <laughs> 
We do love a waffle, don't we? Absolutely. Tougher without a second drop, will it? Oh, yeah, you're gonna play a little bit of it. Got to, got to do it. I don't even think I've heard the second drop. It might have changed since the one we got in. So fucking good, man. Teffer is probably the up and comer of the. Well, he's not really up and comer now, but like he's yeah, the one who know. really. Where would you? He's, he's just he's had such a great come like up. The word I know, I would, I'm so glad it came to my head because I was cause mm. it's one of those who struggle. It's breakthrough artist. Yeah, that's, breakthrough. That's what I would categorize him as the 2020 breakthrough artist. He's just fucking amazing. It's mad. Um, it's, it's the it's it's the quantity post quality. Yeah, yeah. In terms of what's come out, it's, yeah, it's 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 that because I think to a certain degree, it, it, quantity can be quality in terms of a persistence and you know keeping up the game and putting stuff yeah. out. But like he could have, like the amount of tunes he sent, as I said, he could have releases set for like five years. You couldn't even don't even have to make another track. No. And the quality of them are just insane. Yeah. I, I said it. I need to buy this guy a drink. Yeah. Even I though know, I don't yeah. know what you look like. Yeah, we said this before. <laughs> I literally could have walked past Low you. Low-key visually. Yeah. There's a lot of artists like that, though, man, yeah. we spoke about. I think um, it's because we're so, like, our faces are everywhere. Yeah, we didn't. Not that we intended to. No, not really. When we started no. this, but it's happened, didn't it? I didn't really, like, I never really liked the idea of being on camera. No, we still not. I'm still... I don't... I'm so... Cut the most of the clips. Yeah, like, I, I, if not all actually. Pretty much. Pretty well, much you did all the beginning ones. I do all like the yeah. ones now. It's like he does the main podcast. I will do yeah. the clips. The socials. I just can't listen to my own voice. It's painful. Mm. Really painful. Like even just watching it. Even though I know you've made a really funny clip. I know like, in my head afterwards. I know what bits are coming. Yeah. The only bit I I listen to is like it's just when I edit like putting the whole thing together to make sure video and yeah. audio synced as best as possible or um, all that shit. It, but it's painful for me. I don't. I'm not a big fan of it, but I've got got used to it. I we're mean, good. we're fucking thirty something episodes in. Yeah, you know? we're a lot it's better on nice. camera now than the, than the first one. Yeah, so. it pains me that people discover us and then go back to the start. That's mm. also really painful. I kind of yeah. wish we could just cut those out, but then there's no real point. It's part of the journey, isn't it? Like, yeah. Sorry. It's not that bad though. Yeah, it's just it's just I'll cringe. I'll cringe now. Yeah. At a now episode, let alone fucking <laughs> looking back. Yeah. Um, I'm it, sure those people find us cringe. No, oh, wank, I've seen com- I've that. seen comments before saying we cringe. Yeah, that's brilliant. I was I just like, it. 
fuck you, man. I yeah. hate being called cringe. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, but we are a bit. <laughs> Do you think? No, I don't know. I don't think we are. <laughs> Let us know. I, don't, I think if we were cringe, we wouldn't have a podcast. Yeah. We wouldn't be, yeah, yeah, what's the 20, word? <laughs> 20 listeners. Yeah. We wouldn't be here, would we? Maybe we're cringe, aren't we? Yeah, maybe some Or a stupid comment from me. Sorry about that. Um, but I'll tell you what, yeah. I feel like I've been a bit unfair to Albion Collective. Why? Because obviously, I'll, you know, you take away my tune. Blah, no. Yeah. Blah, blah. But they're really, probably, they're putting it out there. If it, I'm glad it's on Albion Collective because one, it's on a fucking lovely little vinyl. Yeah, actually, that's, a... that's a... That deserves to be on a vinyl and they've fucking done it. And Albion Collective are one of our favourite. Yeah. Uh, labels yeah. in the scene they've, put they've been supporting us since pretty much day as well yeah. so that's true hop ton is early yeah so support. what a brilliant it's a great release Tefa album collective makes sense um i might have to get this final you know i think you're gonna have to mate it's to have toasting isn't it on the way yeah you're gonna have to get toast come man if you're listening oh it's 30th october it comes out in it yeah maybe i can get some sort of family and friends pre-purchase i'm not on about discount i'm on about yeah. just guaranteed case I don't yeah this will sell how, how this is a guaranteed sell out I would how many so. copies they do this 300 around 300 i believe yeah usually it's, i just correct us in the description if we're wrong don't yeah we? we'll having clips is so good man yeah the whole brand and it's it. smashing don't they um but yeah toasting that track gelato we just played and there's another sick track luna go over to albion collective soundcloud i'm sure they will have the um they usually have the little preview of the yeah. I wonder if they put the second drop as the preview for toasting in the preview because they wouldn't play the whole track what well I've seen on the socials they mm. posted that second drop oh, okay. part yeah. on the just a little video mm. and I commented on it saying it's my favourite track <laughs> honestly I love, it's <laughs> literally my favourite track ever I think I when it. I first heard toasting it fucks me honestly I do, I do still to this day me. it's quite it's, it's quite like it will go in my mixes forever, I think. Like I'm always finding new ways of. We, we need it. a VIP dude. Yeah, yeah. Check out. <laughs> make one for us. Just us only. I'll give you hundred pound. I love that. I'll give you hundred pound. It's probably like yes. Yeah, I generally would give him a hundred pound. Would you? Yeah. Mad. For a for a VIP, it's exclusive to us. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, like a Ramses. Ramses did it, didn't he? Yeah, did a. But he just did that to say thanks. Just to yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the uh, White Shadow yeah, Deep yeah. Tempo Special. Yep. Then we've got Daddy's Claps from Eggman Dogs as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. That's, That's more of a so. joke track, though. But yeah. it's funny. Oh, right, and we've got Potato Dub. Mm hmm. In Shinku. Ja- ja- Jacket Potato from Shink. Hey, we've got a little collection going on. Oh, yeah. Tesla Man, come join the Deep Tempo Collection. Mm. <laughs> That'd be sick. I wonder if our voices um, are in any of the tracks. I know Kaitrid uh, sampled mine, but like manipulated oh, it. Yeah. Because you told me. I don't, I don't even know what track it is. It must yeah. be a dub. We need to do a vocal sample pack. We said we were going to do We that, should really, we? yeah. I think. Let us know, producers, if you want that, man. We'll try and tell us I'll what phrases it. you want as well. Yeah, like, Big June! <laughs> Sick! Man, matrimony. Matrimony! <laughs> Oh. Natural Lamp need to make a matrimony track, don't they? How? Yeah, they're gonna have to. Yeah, I think you just have, have to, to, guys. If you're listening, if you got this far. Yeah. Um, Sorry, Tefan, we will be collective thirtieth of October. This is gonna be a two and a half hour show. Um, yeah. Next up, another big, 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 big release. Big, big, highly anticipated, um, highly sought after. Got a lot of people gassed. The the vinyl selling out. There's just no question about it. Um, Infernal Sounds 24. We're talking about that. Clue Kid. That's another label that I just love. Yeah, we do. They're banging. I've got the vinyls down there, which you can take, by the way. Oh, yeah. We said this every time, and I just don't pick them up. Just have them. Uh, Yeah, thanks. Um, (laughs) Mate, classic one. Dub Helmet on there. Yeah, because back then you had to buy it to get the digital, didn't you? So, of course, you bought the vinyl. Um, Yeah. That was yeah, pre I'll, I'll, pre-podcast days. I'll gladly add that to co- the collection, bro. Yeah, Infernal Sounds are amazing. Yes, they are. And um, Emily Dayson again on the artwork. the artwork. I think they're selling prints as well with this. Yeah. Some limited edition artwork prints, 30 of those. They Pretty cool. They are looking like 297 millimeters. I think that's A4 but square on the long side. 297 millimeters. I think so. Um yeah limited edition prints for the artwork on that one um yeah 
digital yeah so every purchase digital copy has come along with it and uh two tracks highly sought after dubs long time tunes um electric avenue of course and horizontal yeah horizontal for me man yeah that's the one i, really I know like. you messaged me straight away like yeah. that, that's that's the one it's very very cut for vibes yeah on this tune um, first listen to it from my phone as well because whenever I get like a big label like that I always want to just find listen to it. I'm, I'm really quite I, it has to be minimal my knees mm. if I haven't got my monitors on or I can't because I don't know just can't make noise or yeah I was just in the van yeah. like waiting for Josh and I was just there like gotta listen to it even through the speak like this shitty little speaker I was like this is yeah. sick go on. can't it's, wait to it's got it that old vibe though innit like yeah. blue kid stuff so well it's from it's from that I don't know what exactly yeah I mean he's this, these tunes go back man. yeah probably quite fucking a while fucking back um, but yeah of course ever, this this one's it's going to be hot property guys it's going to go 6th of November the release date so that's Bandcamp day 2 is there going to be a pre-order on this bad boy I think there is now yeah I think you can can't you mm. well that's where I got all that information from yeah. so it must be up there I got it on the website. I always go on the website. Let us know if you copped it. I've already seen it, you know, Dubstep Vinyl Collectors group on Facebook. I've seen it on, um, you know, just people shit though, people comment on it, Reddit. Um, yeah, this one. Gonna. So, um, yeah, Clue Kid, Horizontal, Infernal Sounds 24. vibes on that man takes me back man. don't get tunes like that anymore no you, you don't. just don't that's why they that's why they needed releasing bro Mate, just telling you that's why they needed releasing though just take all those cool kid and cocky days like just mm. the, the minimum tunes kind of like i won't say overly rinse but they were just banging like they were just banging yeah absolutely banging um yeah so i think the big cartel all sold out um Infernal Sounds. I think it went out on all other platforms um, for pre-order too. Red Eye and the likes. I don't know if it sold out across all of those two. 
you need to go keep a lookout. I know a couple hundred, I think I can see in the comments someone asking about it, and I believe a couple hundred units were sent to Red Eye um, and obviously those other platforms. So if you want it, guys, there's probably a few left, if, if anything, mm. man. People just order it from anywhere, man. But yeah, of course it was going to go, man. 30 copies. 30 copies? 30th of, it's not even the 30th of November, and I was going to say that. It's all wrong. 6th of November. <laughs> It's all in 30th of October ones, isn't it? I always do this. You're clumsy today. You can't speak today. <laughs> Anyone would think I was, you know, I did this, I say professionally, this is just... This it's is profession it. now, lad. Yeah. If you, I mean, wait, wait. once you hit over 30 episodes, you, it's professional. You're professional. That, that's that's the rule, right? Yeah. Yeah. Standard. <laughs> that was very camp of you. Yes. It's the rule, right? <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Standard. Um, 6th of November. Yeah, man infernal sounds um but it might already be sold out so don't be waiting for that date just go look right now stop the podcast pause it don't delete the tab <laughs> just go look for the vinyl right now purchase it let us know if you cop one and then thank us maybe i don't know buy us a beer one time yeah Say thanks especially london fucking oh yeah all the london heads <laughs> <laughs> You've got such a hate for London's do. beer prices. I do. You, it's it's stupid, man. It's because we're meddling man them though, isn't it? Um, hey, we can get two pound beers yeah, at the door. Yeah. In rugby. Hilarious, isn't it? Anyway, big up in first house, big up crew kid, big up those. Should we ring my man back? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to mention it. Should we try it? And just tell him he's live on the show? Yeah. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Patrick just it. rang me. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you see you must have seen my um my yeah. dm to embed it go for, you go. do you think it will come through the mic Hopefully. oh he's, he's busy. busy he's straight he's on the he's on the dog and he's bone a, isn't he's it? on the dog and bone himself message um, him or no we'll see we'll try him again after the next track yeah we'll try him again if he rings again we might just have to cut it and we'll, yeah. we'll redo the track yeah yeah well, fuck it we're on the show the amount of times he rings me and i just don't answer because i'm either at work or like now doing this podcast yeah so i am sorry mr hatcher yes for not answering the phone yeah next up <sighs> gotta keep it rolling keeping it moving, moving. <laughs> micro dot Micro Dot. Yes. I feel like it's been a little while since we've had him on the show. Yeah, 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 for sure. A little, little while. Um, but it's no mean. He's been putting in work in 2020, man. He's had a few good releases. But this one coming on the Wid Fam. Um, big up the Wid Fam project, man, and all um, the Widlers doing. And I know he's. Uh, he, I've seen him. I've mentioned it before, and I've, I've, because I've seen him mention it that it is a lot of his homies who are really doing the work. I think on the label. It's more him putting his name to it, I guess, and just it's just homies, isn't it? It's the Wid Fam, and uh, this one, like heavy roots and reggae inspirations, as Micro Dot usually does, man. He's always, you know, he's got them skanking. Yeah, step of I knew this one would be for you. Oh for sure, yeah, these, I love, I love Micro Dot sound. He kills yeah. it. Like you said before about him being your dream lineup. Yeah, well, I think at the time we did that, it was my lineup was more about people I haven't seen yet. Yeah, and we both cheated and put like a loads of back to back to back to backs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And there were uh, there were certain people on there that I just I had to put on there because they're like my favourites in the scene. Like Goth Trad was on there for me, wasn't it? I mean, lo and behold, man, went to Japan and seen him. I wouldn't have thought that would have actually I happened. I can't believe you did that. Yeah, still insane. Um, but yeah, no, he was on there with like the Ch- uh, Chief Choirs. Those, those there was a big back to back of those kind of sounds. One of them on there, man. But um. Yeah, this one is the Universal EP, four tracks, One Love, Universal, Distant Light, and then I guess the heaviest track on the EP, I'd say, Righteous. I think we're going to play that one. Whichever you want, bro. Yeah, let's go for Righteous. Righteous. Um, I can't I can't even really say it's my favourite on the, on, the, on the EP. I feel like... It just depends what I, I think was like wanting to mix and play with, man. I need to go through them again because yeah. I can't remember them exactly. Yeah. I just remember them being sick. I was like, yeah, it's going in. Yeah, it's got it's just instant. Mm, got to instant, go in. yeah. Um, but yeah, One Love. Uh, no, sorry, Righteous we're playing. Yeah. Um, heavy. Let's go.
think like, will I one day get to see Mike Crudup perform? Yeah. Will I get to see him? Mm-hmm. Would he come to the UK? Would we go Who to knows? America? Who knows? I feel like, oh, I feel like it's it's like slightly harder for the for the like US and Canada heads to like make their way over this way unless they get booked like a lot of them who tour this way usually do it off the back of a festival yeah because they're coming over anyway for a big show where they're getting it, they're getting paid enough for him to be worth coming over um even if they say don't make profit i think a lot of artists would do it just to get their music out there more and yeah. experience playing it live hearing it on those sound systems um and you know i say that some other like those who are on the w end might play some of uh of the other big european festivals the more sound system i guess like i say roots reggae sound system based yeah. guys um but it is harder i feel like we're, we're tiny man here in the uk we, we are. are yeah we just are so like unless you know someone comes they usually you know they bounce the usual london bristol manchester leeds maybe um you know, they, they just do the city pop in yeah um afterwards but I think it's not like you see many come over just to no just to you know do the rounds and they've got to get those bookings they've got to have those multiple bookings for it to be worthwhile for them yeah because you know the flight over ain't cheap man it just ain't and visas and all these things are getting more and more expensive yeah. and ridiculous oh, i yeah. know yeah. it went up for us to go the opposite way as well mm-hmm. recently so again i, I it was i think it was quite a big hike but it's still it's probably still manageable i think for people it's just obviously we've got we've got covid right now but i would yes definitely like i said he's one of those i would love to see man uh, he's one of that collection over that side of the pond that i would you know i'd love to see, love to see live definitely. man there's a whole bunch of them now that it's just forever growing because i mean like you said we're not the size of one of their state man the, the, the producers that are popping up and we had the phase like uh, like late mid to late in the first series where just like the fucking the like new us heads come into us like yeah. name wise was just like fucking hell. yeah i know there's like yeah. two a show at the moment and these tunes are crazy and okay some of them we might have just slept on or missed you know mm. there's a lot lot to keep up within the scene it's it's healthy at the moment and we did a bit of back digging and looked at their back catalog and thought, oh shit, we've slept on them. Yeah. But some of them are just straight up, like, just come out of them. Yeah, for like, sure. Just banging straight away. I didn't really realise how many American producers actually made, like, this sty- ty- uh, style of style. Dubstep. Style of dubstep. Yeah. Obviously, the EDM stuff's massive. Yeah, which is obviously because it's so big and, and you make prevalent. You can be quite rich off it, it seems. Yeah. But I think Funkcase is doing all right themselves yeah i think a lot of, well that's that full time living isn't it there's, yeah there's big festivals they obviously commando like midnight tyrannosaurus he's got well, he gets looks like he's doing all right yeah, yeah but then i suppose as long as you enjoy it you know like you said you mentioned front case they, they've made that sound from day yeah yeah, that yeah heavy, sure. that really means you know that heavier sound they've made it from day of course they've you know everyone's sound sort of develops and changes a little bit over their careers but he's always been on that side of the curve yeah it's not like he's just switched you know? Well, he did Haze as well, though, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, which was a different, completely different project. Yeah, you know, which didn't get, didn't get the love. No, that Funkcase did, never did. Um, must be like, like it didn't scenes. get to, not to that level. I loved the, I loved the yeah. Haze sets. Obviously, as a Bournemouth area local, we'd get booked as Haze quite, quite often around. Yeah, I, I actually seen a uh, Funkcase versus Haze set. Oh yeah, at yeah, New Year's yeah. Eve. Yeah, at Earth. and he was he did an hour of funk case. Then he then, did a haze or a haze first. Yeah, then put the mask off. Or yeah, and then put it on. And then put the mask on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he would start with haze usually. Yeah, so sort of that sort of deeper, deeper, yeah, mellower compared to the funk case. I think because yeah, Circus just blew up, man. That whole yeah, they did around twenty ten. Like Flux yeah, Villian, yeah, the Flux bass cannon really. That's what really done it, wasn't it? Bass cannon oh, getting on yeah. the radio. God, oh, they were playing that in fucking throwback that zinc, whoever it was called at the time. Yeah, all the poppy clubs playing. That's, you know, mm. 2009, 2010, that's where you could step in a normal club and they'd have like a half an hour bit of like, you know. That, well, I used that to get Ryan Disting, which he used to do the DJ and then just be like, look, put this track on. Put it on. Put this track on. Like, put this on. Go on. But it would go off, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah. We'd love to just jump around in them days, man. And my student days, prime, cheap drink student days. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, Microdot, with fam. So, um, 10th of November. It's a little while away that one guys um look out for the pre-orders and all of that the wid fam um again chapters and the descriptions and the timestamps down in youtube also in the soundcloud if you want to 
confirm any of the names and where to find those people. Copy and paste them, tap them into Google, you'll find that shit. Go find MicroDark, go support them, go find the Wib fam, keep up with their projects. So probably over on SoundCloud. Probably the best place. For sure. Uh next up. Giving a moving. Giving a rolling. Uh probably is it the last one of the big pack we had from the Medi? Yep. The deep Medi. Um actually I don't think it was the last one, but it got moved back. Yeah. And you'll know why, because it will become clear as day. Um there is more coming from Deep Medi, by the way. Oh, there is lots more. It's just um, the, the the big pack they sent us. Yeah, we haven't got the back. tunes yet, but I've we've seen the list. Oh my days. And it's pretty mad. Oh my days. Mm. I'm excited for some of Oh no, you are, bro. Jeez. <sighs> but I'm excited about this one anyway. When, oh, I love this one. When this project dropped, we weren't sure who, this was one of the ones we struggled with to pinpoint who it was. And it's a first outing for them on Medi. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. Under yeah. this alias. That's a little bit of a hint. Mm. Um but yes, this one coming on the sixth of yep. November. Um two rangers. Yeah. Let's just put it out there. The uh, intergalactic space rangers. Who's two so it's Booker's Finest and, and Night Drips. Yeah, drips. Yeah. yeah, not drops. Yeah, night drips. Uh and of course Booker's not long. The idea of the devil just come out on Medi. Yeah. Um, I think who was in between that and then this was meant to come out. Um, but of course, Booker's had his chest plate release, which we also had, by the way, and I know we didn't feature. It landed in an awkward spot for us in an episode, and then we were going to team it with this one in an episode, and then this one got pushed back. There was some weirdness. Mm. It didn't happen, but that's also a banging EP. <laughs> yeah. But we're talking about Medi right now. Yeah. Um, and it was just basically to spread out Booker's sort of like promo on his feeds and not to sort of oversaturate yeah. it. And of course, Medi do everything professionally and spoke with Booker's. And I don't know if they, you know, liaised with distance or what about when stuff was coming out. But yeah. basically, they made room for his chest plate one to be announced. And now, two Rangers, of course, Booker's and Night Drips. Um, it just seems like everything they do together under the two rangers fact it's, it's just fun it's yeah. just an element of fun because is anyway he smashes it with the promo um yeah. he's, he's i think he's released a sound pack recently okay. yeah and his is fucking it... promo for that was just stupid silly fun as well i bet he does his funny voices and stuff on that yeah and my name some... is book is finest there was some snick Sneak, stick snapping thing he was I can't remember what he was he was just a, he he's was a, a funny fucking, dude man he was just funny he's got he's got wit that guy yeah Um. but these ones um, these tracks you, like we said it was a part of a, like a deep midi promo pack that went out we, obviously we weren't the only ones that got it there's, there's DJs in the deep midi fam who got stuff you know they, cause they, they don't mind stuff being put out in mixes and teas but they, weren't, they just don't want your ID in it yeah. and uh, you yourself could yeah, um, put a couple of these out in your mix. Yeah, I put played um, well the one that we're gonna play. We're I gonna play, which we'll get to that one. Um, last in the track, but yeah, you have the. I think the A track wasn't named, and I think it's because it's called it is the Inter- intergalactic space rangers, and I think they didn't. I think they thought the rangers would give it away. So yeah, I'm not even sure I would have guessed that two rangers would be on Medi. I would like, especially just because the bookers one had just dropped, and we knew we knew the bookers sound straight away. Yeah, yeah. So when he merges with Night Drips, that. Yeah, I don't it, know. it wasn't as obvious, was it? It wasn't as obvious. I really liked. So you got yeah, intergalactic space rangers. You got dusty plasma. You got um, Lengpon Sirius, is it Cyrus? Sirius, mm. and um, which I really love. It's got like uh, it's just got this like strong grime influence. These grime hits that I love. Yeah. Um, that was the one I kind of first played around with when I was just chopping up some blends at home. Um, and then there's the marble, which yeah. I think over time has, has become a favourite on the EP. Yes, this is what um, I played in it. The more I've listened to it. Yeah, and you, yeah. And you, which, where did you play it I played it in my Just Be live stream mix. Um, oh, yeah. And I, I forgot did, you even did that one. I know, yeah, I did a little blend with a uh, sepia. Uh, I think it was a Samba and sepia tune on the mm. system. That would make sense to me. It really... Just, just you saying just, those two names and this track. Yeah, it's right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this one, The Marble. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's it's just quality. Medi, like I said, keep coming strong. We've seen the, the names for who will come in, but um, yeah, it's, it's good to see them coming thick and fast with the releases again. Yeah. I think it's people that are hungry for it. They want it. They want to support these. 
and um, yeah, it's another chance to just support Booker's. Um, congrats, man, on the new studio space. I have seen some socials about that. I've seen them tweet about it, I think, or on oh, his shit. Instagram. He's painting it up. He just needs to get the equipment in, which I'm sure will happen this week. So he's ready to get cooking those new beats again. Yeah. Because um, I know he struggled with getting apartment space. I think that it's hot, man. It's hard in Berlin to get like affordable, decent sized places, yeah. man. Um, it's just so popular, I think. Does he like live in a studio then? Is that how it works for him? No, but I think he had one in his apartment. Like he had a dedicated space for it. It's not like, you know, in the corner of his room or like, or, you know, in the kitchen or something. Yeah. I think he had a dedicated space for it so he can treat that room and it's like a work area for him. Yeah, he has like a proper little setup, doesn't he? Yeah. Like, he's been doing it a long time now, hasn't he? Um, so I think he was using Night Drips's, I think they have a joint studio space where he was using Night Drips' space mm. for like in recent times. But of course, he's got his own equipment that he probably can't just bundle, like move in there with yeah. him bundling. So it's probably been difficult time. So Night Drips is German as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'd, I've always presumed so. I guess might be horribly wrong on that. We could find out. Yeah, just in case. Like, not everyone in Berlin's German. It's kind of like London, isn't it? There's, yeah. People just move there, man. It's just attracts. It's such a creative city. I love the design culture over there in in Germany and. Yeah, Berlin. I'm, I'm, I want to go back. I haven't been since I was like young, yeah. young, young, young. <sighs> ten years or something. Over ten years, way over. <laughs> sure, mate. Forget, forgetting I'm thirty. Um, well, but yeah, I forget you thirty. Bro. Uh, let's drop the track anyway while we're doing yeah. that. Um, two Rangers, the marble. <laughs> Would it be possible to walk through walls? <laughs> to build starships. I can travel faster than the speed of light. To read other people's minds. To become invisible. To transport our bodies through outer space. produced tune yeah. different elements to that incredible i love that little they're crisp grimy they? a bit at the end there yeah no they've got strong rhyme influences right so like yeah. i said that tracks uh c c no lengpon serious that was it um which one was that one um i've got the oh there's one i've got as no name yeah, that's the one I think is the name, the yeah. Intergalactic Space Rangers. Right, yeah. I don't know if it's actually the, that's the title of the EP, so I presume that was what the A-Track's called. Right. Um, and I think the reason it wasn't put in was because they didn't want it to give away <laughs> yeah. the name. Like uh, the Truth EP, um, Lion VIP wasn't named, but you know <laughs> you know what track it is. Yeah. You know I mean? But I of course, they're just going to do their best to, yeah. you know. For those who are, I suppose, maybe not a connoisseur, like, 
everyone's sound. Yeah. Because I'm certainly not. This, this, I struggled with some of these names. Like, yeah, like Two Rangers one. I was like, who, who is that man? Mm. And I was... Obviously, they've brought a lot of new names on the label recent in recent times. We yeah. spoke about it with um, Samba and Soma and that. So I, I was thinking to myself, oh, is this another young up-and-coming producer? Like yeah. another new one on... Um, on Deep Medi, and of course, it is a new name in terms of yeah. the alias, but it's you know, essentially, you know, Booker's already has that relationship with Medi. And yeah. um, of course, I feel like I'm still learning about Night Drip sound and his overall sound. I've got to tell you, I've seen something recently. I think uh, this was just me digging down the, going down production holes, like on YouTube, you know, as you do, I just do. lose hours. Yep. And um, I think Night Drips did one of those like Fact Magazine 10 minute beat make challenge. Um, where they've just got like a make make mm. like a beat anything they can like real quickly and I'm sure he's using like some I don't know if he's got like because I just get lost in people looking at people's studios some like modular synthesis stuff yeah. and I just like seeing people's processes man um, not that I'm a big like hardware nerd or anything I don't know what a lot of stuff is I just look at it and think it's really cool <laughs> it's just it looks quite, I know a lot of people like making music with actual physical stuff because rather than like twisting yeah, it up yeah. with your mouse it's tactile you yeah. can be more responsive if you do stuff live, but um, yeah, I'm sure, sure he had some, he had some gadgets, man. Yeah, it was interesting to see. Um, he is from Berlin as well, by the way. Yeah, he does say, yeah, he does say Just Berlin. Berlin yeah. But I don't know if he's adopted it or he, he is a true Berliner. Probably is, maybe. Um, we might be horribly wrong. We'll get corrected as we often do. I've never heard him speak on anything, no. on any platform. Maybe he's one to have. We had the, of course, we had um, Night Trips is obsidian was it yeah uh, next level next level yeah ep that was sick that's good Love that one as well yeah um uh, but yeah you can, de- you can definitely hear how his and him and bookers have sort of meshed their sound on the two ranges and it just seems it seems like a whole lot of fun um i think bookers spoke about it on turnian's little live thing yep. about how i didn't get to treat that's one i want to go look back and listen to i think he talks about how they managed to work and their setup and i think that's where i may have heard about him using the studio while he was moving stuff around but yeah big up deep Eddie. big up two rangers 6th of november so it's dropping on band camp day yep. perhaps <clears throat> there's a pre-order out on that one if there is again go look out for it drop it i think it is there is it usually is isn't there yeah. on these projects so um yeah, new EP from the Space Rangers, 6th of November. Oh, it doesn't say anything about pre-order though. But the artwork looks like, of course, it's going to be all spacey and shit. It's yeah. so good. Um, but yeah, big up Bookers, big up Night Trips, the two Rangers, and uh, big up Deep Medi, man. I'm excited for those forthcoming projects. Like, like oh, yeah. I just can't even tell you. Just, they're going to be fucking, they're just going to be. I mean, we guessed on one of the people going to be on it, yes. right? because they were on the like streams. Oh yeah, so it's, it's, when it's, they stream, you know they're going to have a release at some. You point. know, you know who's on those things. Have yeah. a look out, I'll tease you. But yeah. um, also need to shout a state of struggle. They just had yeah. the LP drop. Mm. Nice vibes. I, I, there's about it's an album, isn't it? So there's about yeah, like, an album. four or five one forties on there. A mixed bag of always the um I love their sound. Didn't think it quite fit on the podcast really to put no. out that kind of stuff on there. But if you if you also like those kind of sounds, then go check it out, man. Don't sleep on that one. Thought it was worth just giving them a shout. For sure. Um next up. Bro, we got that um that dangerous name to say again. Musicunt. Musicunt, mate. Yeah, Musicunt, this guy. Um Smashing it. He's had he's had a little as we like to say, sneaky good year. He's put out quite a bit though. So yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's had quite a lot of love on the labels and that. I'm not really surprised and he's got that real dark sound. Yeah. Deep sound. Um this one coming on Simply Deep. Um coming off the back of the I don't think we did we do hit that one up, the Big Hands project they just had, which they mentioned in the promo. It was a one thirty BPM thing i think we we didn't no, pick that one did. up on the show tough as always with the with the amount we're getting in at the minute but um this one we had to man musicant coming back six tracker big old vibes um first track oh, i'm like 
Here we go. Yeah, here we go. We can't fucking speak this. Refugium. 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 There's an untitled track. Untitled. So is it still? In, is it actually going out called Entitled? Mm. Or let's have a look. See if it's on here. I think it's is still Entitled. Um, but um, yeah, it's just yeah. I mean, it's how it's listed, and there's um t- two remixes of that Untitled track by Woven Fawns and Stisla and Ita. Um, I'm particularly feeling the woven forms one. Yeah, I know you said about that. Um, banging, banging. And then there's um, another collab with someone I'm not familiar with, Seta. No, I don't. don't um, track called Dryer. Yep. But we picked out the one with Sedan. Yeah, this is fucked. Course. So good, love this one. Um, yeah, so Musicant and Sedan, this track called Course. Um, I would say just Musicant Dark. Mm. Real dark vibes, man. Deep. Yeah, he just he brings it, man. Yeah. He brings that low in low energy heat. So uh, check this one out. If you're not feeling me with music, we'll tell you where you can go to follow him and support him afterwards. <laughs> the bit that really got me when I first listened to it. Yeah, it's fucking mad. Go on. with that one and Sedan sorry yes yeah, so can't forget to, think, um, forget to mention him too um, yeah it's just that low end low end's mad I love just the Crazy. change up in bass it just sort of mm. stutters a little bit in places it's just fucking wicked it's a little teaser man just seeing actually I didn't mm. realise I did listen to that show actually um, got a little love from the uh, Sakari Sound Girls on their later they did a guest mix for Emerald on one extra you see, see huh? And uh, looks like it was part of their set from this very same project, which is the Fusion track, um, which is the the A track yeah. on this bad boy. Um, so yeah, if you want to go check out that track, go to Moosey Cunt SoundCloud. Um, it's down in the description, guys, as always with the categories. But Moosey Cunt, it is M O O S I Q U N T. If you want to support him, he's also that on Instagram. No one's got he. I mean, he's got a sick name because no one's got his tag. Like he no. ain't got to put no underscores in there. No, no little dodgy numbers. He ain't got to do like zeros for O's. <laughs> Moosey Cunt. What does Moosey Cunt mean? I don't even know. Can we man. just is it a... like a mashup of his like some you know. people do this like kind of weird? I don't know. I do not have a clue, but uh, yeah, Moosey Kunt coming out of Vienna, Austria. Pick up the man. And um, they got everyone part of this project, of course, Sedan on that track course, um, but also set uh, Woven Fawns and Stizzler and Eater on the remix. Um, pick up Simply Deep, man. Okay, now, what, what's, they've put out some numbers now. Man. They have, yeah. What project was that? I'm trying to think and see what, quickly see. Who knows? We'll find, but they're, they're, they're doing bits, yeah. Fast. 
simply be it's good to have them back on. I don't think we've had them on in a while. Look a little while. Oh, so it's because yeah, we definitely we didn't have the one thirty, the last project, Big Hands one thirty yeah. PM for those mandems out there. You know, we 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 have dabbled with a bit of that, yeah. and we may do again, but um, just didn't didn't fit in the whenever that was sent out. Of course. Um, next up, bro. We got the first and only dub of the show. Who? Yes, we do. Uh, Hi, Phil. That guy. This guy. He's kind of just. He's on it, mate. He is so on it. Spoke about it before, in it. Work ethic, man. Work ethics there. He yeah. dropped in the inbox and he was like, "Yo, I got this new thing with Slowy." <laughs> Slowy. Um, um, dust. Dust of the devil. Dust of the devil. Yeah, man. And yeah, it's. Oh, you haven't heard it, yet, have you? No, he's so. This is what I'm. I do apologize, hi for right. You sent me a track. This is what happens when people send us stuff in socials. Yeah, I panic. I'm like, right, download straight away. But I might not listen mm. to it then. Like yeah. I said, I'm pretty stringent. I need these yeah. me minimum for me to take a listen. Usually, yeah. I won't listen to it from a laptop speakers. Just don't want that first. Yeah. Personally, if I have to, I would. Mm-hmm. Obviously, but um, usually, like if if the tunes, you know, if I'm that gas, where I'm excited, or I, I've got the time, I'm able to. Of course, so man, I've had deadlines at work as well. It's not just about my animation course. Mm-hmm. Not just about deep temper. No, I've got deadlines at work at the moment, bro. It's busy times. I've got to stay focused. Um, yeah, he sent this tune on Facebook to me. I don't even know if it is the same track because I know what he's like, man. He might have just dropped some other track and dropped you one. Yeah. So we we'll have to check that one and maybe if it is different, maybe it will be in the next shirt. Yeah. But it's probably the same tune. Probably. I'd imagine he it's... sent it as both. Yeah. This um, one's mad, man. I really like this one. But yeah, better to send to our emails, brother. But I get it, man. Like we have, we do have, we we chatted with him. We have a personal relationship on, you know. Yeah. In terms of like just chatting it up on on He's Facebook. One that he and can Instagram send it, and I'll always make sure to download his stuff. Yeah. So I'll download. It. Never, I'll never forget. Yeah. Never um, forget. It's the way I like. To oh, I gotta shit. say as well, Manuka, that fucking merch is sick. Oh yeah, that merch is banging. Like yeah, we talked about the design's thing. good for the bat, the... and it looks like it's been done quality. Yeah, sort of thing. not just like design's good, but it looks like it's had it. It looks sick. Might have to ask. You've been getting printed with you know yeah. where... who? I wondered did your um logo as well. I really oh, like yeah. logo. Good, isn't it? Yeah, solid, simple solid. but like clean, clean. Yeah, yeah. it's professional looking. Uh, I want a new logo at some point. You, oh, for cutter. Yeah, yeah. I because like. I got that when I was doing more heavy dubstep. So it's sort of like the look of it is like for the EDM sort of scene, really, I mm. find. Whereas now I'm more into the, the deeper end. Yeah, yeah. Could probably do the change, but it's hard to like what I can do or what can I change because mm. it's got that horror theme and cutter makes sense. But yeah. I don't know. You'll be the one to probably do it though. If you're fucking when I got time. genius. Yeah. I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> kind of sort my own shit out. Classic. Oh, fuck. You um, need a roving dread one. I bet you make some sick shit. I already started something about. Five years ago, that's hard. That's, Forget that. That's, that's five years old. Nah, it's just no one's even seen it. You can show me in a minute. Yeah, I have to find dig out the files. I was on my old MacBook. Yeah. Um, oh, Hypo. Look, we've waffled again. Slowy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, people. Oh, this just isn't tackle the you. waffle sections. Yeah. Skip this waffle. Don't dislike the video. No, please don't. don't. Please don't. Uh, Actually, do. I don't care. Okay. Just get engagement. <laughs> Hypho, feet slowy, dust of the devil. Let's hear this, man. Yeah, you wanna hear this? Yeah. Finally. Should have called the podcast Waffling, but Joe Weller's already got that name. Dubstep Waffle. Dubstep Waffle, that'd be good. Go. Hey, this one's called Extra. 
There's no need to press nitro. Moo moo that shit like Michael. Leader ain't no disciple. David I know the Bible. I believe with my eyeball. I write right from morning to nightfall. Got so many bars, it's delightful. Oh, the slice, I'll take the full trifle. I'm here to save the game like I'm Smichael. What's the ETA on my title? So far gone, I can't see my rivals. The man are too lazy, the bone idol. I tower over my call me Eiffel. Sick with it, check my recital. Clash me, get SP in like final. But I will day all night long, blind all. Bear grows if I'm stalking survival. Listen to a little bit more. Yeah, man. This is one of them fucking fire bars. Mate, he's sick. I've never actually known him. Slowy. Yo, I get the club live, though. No, it's like we getting high, folks. Make my number one next skank on the dance floor, skanking on your five toes. I get the club live, though. See me cruising like Tayo. Then my behind in a clapped out maestro. There's no need to press nitro. I get the club live, though. It's that lyrical cool psycho. Maybe I'm just mad in the head, or maybe I sold my soul to the hydro. How the fuck I know? Still I'm cruising like Tayo. Then I'm behind in a Toyota I go. Yo, there's no need to press nitro. Them man still cash their gyro. I know, them man go down cash converters. Every two weeks to buy back the iPhone. Mm-hmm. Man like that would tell the right fibro. Like them man never welcome in my home. I know they like the rights and bees. Them man never sit and wait on. Go down to cash converters and get back your iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mate, he's, I, yeah, I've never really heard of Slowy. Yes, um, but him a sick, nasty. Really like man. them. <laughs> it works for those beats as well, man. He's yeah. got the good voice for it. Mate, honestly, I don't know what Hypho can't make. Oh no, yeah. you can you can give him style. an EDM project. He'll smash them out of the park. Yeah, he just I think he knows how to like listen to stuff, break it down. Like I don't know if he must just be able to hear a sound and be like, yeah, I'm gonna like I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna make it. Yeah. He's, he's crazy. Sick, sick, bro. Um, yeah, Hypho. If it's not the first time featuring the show, no. if you perhaps don't know about Hypho, maybe you're new to the Deep Tempo podcast too. Hypho MCR on Instagram. It's H Y F O F. There's no F. What? Mm. It's P H. Yeah. <laughs> I said it how you say it. Yeah. Hypho. I was there like. Yeah, that's right. No, you're not. That's not right. H Y P H O. God's sake. I love. Wonder why why he's called Hypho. So this is a thing I always interested to know. Why Why are people called what they're called? We need to learn this one, don't we, man? Yeah, we need to learn that one. Oh yeah, think going back on Hatcher. Yeah, Mm. so watching Q I. When I watch Q I a lot. What? I love QI, it's good good show. I always fall asleep to it. So I I was like listening, and they were announcing. The people, the guests on the show, and there was one called Terry Hatcher. I was like, "What? Why is that Terry the same?" I was like, "Terry Hatcher, it's some woman oh, right. called Terry Hatcher." I was like, "Fuck it out." No way. Yeah, I, I was it... honestly for a minute, I was like, "Hatcher's on the show." Was it ER? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Hatcher. Terry Hatcher, though. Yeah, it's exactly the same name. That's weird, isn't it? Mad. Is that Hatcher's actual last name then? No. No. Nah. Don't know what it is. Mm. But I don't think it is. What do you think it is? He could hits. be. It could be Hatcher. I don't yeah. know. Maybe we're asking. Yeah, probably ring back a bit. Maybe it is. I think of. No, I haven't. I haven't met a Hatcher before. Don't know. Got some surnames that are really common, in you? Anyway, Hypho MCR and um, Snowy underscore one. I think it is. If you want to find him. Um, Slowy. S- Slowy. Sorry. Slowy. There's a snow. There's a Snowy, but it's not the right. Yeah, I'm just getting it. Slowy underscore one. Um, Slowy with a I-E. Um, yeah, man. Sick. Yeah, that's a, that's a dub Good. for a while, it said. Uh, it? it might come out at some point. But... I don't know what for a while means these days. Could be a month. Could be a he doesn't, couple he, months. I don't think he has a plan for it. It's just maybe, there. Maybe they're going to work on a project. Maybe. On like a four-track project or something together. Mm-hmm. Um, who knows? Excited to see it, though. Yeah. And, um, big up for sending through. Gotta get those dubs in the show, man. We've got, we've got something that we need to get out there. And it will, no, we do. Man. When that's going to happen. Oh, yeah. We're probably not going to do the dub special this month like we put on the oh, list. Oh, I deleted it from the schedule yeah. a while back. Yeah. It's not going to happen in October. There's just no way. Plus, too much going on. We'll probably could we need to accumulate more. Yeah, well, I think we could stack some more up. So, producers, you know, if you're out there, if you've got some dubs that genuinely aren't coming out for a while, I don't want you to send us a tune that's like, yeah, this is a dub, and then you release it next week. <laughs> uh, get them in. Let us know. If you've got if you've got stuff you don't plan on putting out till minimum 2021, mm. next year, 
I mean, it sounded like it was 10 years ahead like <laughs> yeah. next year then uh, let us let us know man and uh you may pencil it in for the, the next and what will be the last dub special of the year mm-hmm. that video banged man yes yeah, that, good that youtube is like over a thousand plays on that sick yeah we'll do we'll do maybe in december we could probably do another one yeah i'm thinking like uh, we've got a big project maybe even do. late november yeah yeah see we'll see we can do. um Next up, got another MC track, bro. Got another li- another lyrical, yeah, bad boy bit. I mean, we mentioned his name earlier because he was featured on the Nasha project, um, Grizzo and SBD on an Unki track. Mm. Is remix. This, is Unki this coming remix. out? Oh yeah, yeah this sorry. is this is on that. Oh, uh, SBD Grizzo. Yeah. It's on, nice step we didn't write it in the notes. It's like Durkle oh. Disco. Yes. What's awesome it Of course. I can't, is that right? Am yeah, I yeah. saying that right? Yeah, you are. Uh, it's on Durkle. that. It's coming out on that. Yeah. On. I think it did have a release date. Yeah. We'll get all the info up. Maybe we, let's Does just drop the track down? and we'll do it. We'll do it professionally afterwards. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Night Stepper, Unky Remix. Um, let's go. <laughs> Mad when the flow dispatch Holy Pallades, too many lads Too many fellas here drinking Stella Too many Jamies, not enough Gemmas Holy Pashellas, bag full of techers This one here for the late night, late night, yo Come to life in a night like that Everything dark, everything pitch black Everything mad when the flow dispatch Holy Pallades, too many lads Too many fellas here drinking Stella Too many Jamies, not enough Gemmas Holy Pashellas, bag full of techers This one here for the late night steppers <laughs> Man. He's naughty. He's he's sneaky good. Yeah. As we said. Pin Stella, too many Jamies, not enough gemmas. Holy Pashellas, back full attackers. This one here for the late night steppers. <laughs> Too good, man. Mr. Unki. Too good. On the remix. I'll be, I'll, I'll tell you what, I am intrigued to hear the original now. Because I haven't even heard that. No, I haven't heard it, no. So I want to see how, what, what it is he's used, what he's, you know, what he's flipped. Yeah. That's sick. I mean, what a vocal to work with as well by Grizzo. Yeah. SPD. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to look out for that full project, man. I haven't, you know what? I mean, it's coming on the 6th. I mean, I'm sure it'll probably be announced this week, won't it? People start yeah. promoing their stuff. You but think I, it's the 6th? I so. couldn't see it on their social. I think I saw it on Twitter, though. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, little looksy for that, then, Bunky man. Okay, come in again. Obviously, border the baby again. <laughs> Making. <laughs> <laughs> so Beth didn't appreciate that one last time, bro. <laughs> no, yeah, man's well, just putting man's just putting put some bread on the table, bro. Yeah, it's just making baggers. Uh, and yeah, who knows when these projects like these? They probably they wouldn't have been made that recently, would they? I'm guessing. Probably not. Been cooked. I don't up, know. Been, maybe been cooking for a while. Some of these. Um, but yeah, man, it's just smashed it. Big up the Dirkle guys as well. Just dropped with them, man. Them a follow. Uh, Grizzo. Dirkle Disco, SPD, doing it in all kinds of random order. One artist, one label, another <laughs> artist, Unki. Um, yeah, killer, bro. Killing it as always, brother. Um, keep it moving. Keeping it rolling. Um, are you going for that one, are you? I don't know. Oh, no. Which one did you choose? I think we're going for this one, bro. Oh, that one? Yeah. With Boogie. Yeah. Bro, next up, we got the brand new EP by Rusko. Rusko! The man Rusko, bro. The legend of the game. First time on the Deep Tempo podcast. Yeah, mate. Crazy to think. Not that he's put out tons of stuff. Yeah. Um, he had one release last year, didn't he? Coming yeah. I was on. Um, I know he released under some house alias as yeah. well, I think. Yeah, I don't know if that's just a little demo. I don't know how big small that project here has got obviously no concept of yeah you know even how long that side pro- house project and alias has been going on for but this one yeah coming on wakan 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 i think it's wak wakan wakan because we said it wakan and people were like, oh, they say it funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's because we're British. Yeah. We say things differently. Yeah. But yeah, it's probably, it's Wakan. Wakan. <laughs> Wakan. <laughs> I can't it's Wakan. Yeah. Wakan, mate. Wakan. Um, yeah, Rusko, the Source EP. It, I got seen, it got teased a little bit beforehand. I think it came out on Friday. Just gone. Or is it this Friday? No, I think it's just come out. No, it is out. Yeah, it's just come out this Friday, just gone. And um, yeah, an exciting project. Of course, being Rusko, it's had a lot of coverage, a lot of big platforms shouting about it. I mean, there's no real need for us to, other than the fact that, I mean, we love the guy because he's a legend. Yeah, man. Absolutely legend in the scene. Hey, Pro um, Nails remix you did back oh, in the day. Oh, so <laughs> Um. But yeah, of course, highly, highly influential for a lot of artists. Um, a lot of us heads who just, you know, from just look back to that sort of, I guess, just the back end of that like golden era, man, where the sound was just getting so big. Yeah. And um, yeah, he, you know, a lot of people discovered dubstep because of this guy. Yeah, for sure. Face it. Um, you see that video of him when he's at his little shitty computer in his oh, office. Oh, it's like, like computer back magazine, the... isn't it? Yeah, like little... Little... yeah, like back in the day, man. Yeah, he's just like the tunes he was cooking up on that, those mach- like that machine. Yeah. Can you imagine if you give that to some some home now who's got like me, got some like three grand MacBook, who's like got all got all the fucking RAM, all the tools yeah, you could yeah. ever need, and he's there like. You know, half them man them making tunes back then moved a fucking kick, you know, <laughs> one one fucking notch over and had to sit there and wait 15 minutes for the fucking thing to buffer. It's mad. <laughs> it's I mean, true it's well. just how it's crazy. A lot of, a lot downloading of... shit on dial up and fucking. Oh, no. <laughs> These man them, when they were making, I mean, a lot of that's probably like more predating dubstep, but like. Yeah. In the early days. They're making music on Music 2000 on PlayStation. Yeah. Shit like that. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy, My uncle crazy used to do shit. that. Yeah, I never had it, man. I remember, I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was my cousin. Someone had it that I knew, but I just, yeah, I never, I never really had it to play with. Um, but yeah, Rusko, the Source EP, um, four tracks. Two of those come with collaborations. There's some really in depth interviews out there about this. I think he's done one with Forbes, man. Forbes have done an interview on him for this project. And he goes into detail about how those, how both of those, um, collabs came about they're both people you wanted to 
um, Mick Chingsworth, I believe. Yeah. Um, I think he said that they've been like the most requested people for him to make tracks with. Um, and he said they just happened really organically. One of them, um, should mention their names. One of the collabs is with Dirty Monkey. That one mm. is called. Um, Quang? I think it's Dirt Monkey. I think that's. Is it Dirt Monkey? I think it is. Yeah. I'm sh- yeah. Mm, I'm doing yeah, it's right Dirt there. Monkey. He must have just yeah, you go. auto-corrected you. Yeah. I it's think. Dirt Monkey, yeah. No, oh, Dirt's a word though, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably just typing, bro. Um, quantities uh, with Dirt Monkey. And then there's Wagwan with Boogie T, which we're going to play. Wagwan. Um, but yeah, one of them we talked about, you know, just their, their collabs just happened organically. And um, one of them, they'd, they'd had a go at um, collabing before, I think, with a track, but I don't think that one's seen the light of day. Um, but yeah, then there's other two tracks, X, uh, Ecstasy, Dreamland. I mean, it says it all. It's really weird, man. It's got yeah. like these chop-up vocals. Um, not really something that would ever be in like a Roving Dread set being on it. Like, it's just a weird, like, I mean, it says it all. Yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of psychedelic Dreamland. sounds. Yeah, it's interesting. Um Carrot cake, also it's got those that kind of classic r- Rusco, like dubby, just rootsy sound baked in it. And I think this Bookie T track Wild One started out that way as well. They spoke about how the vocal in it, I think, is um, Boogie like he recorded something in halftime and then they like sped it up and just fucked, yeah. fucked around with it, man. But it's it's got a vibe, man. It's interesting. And it's just good to see Rusko putting out tunes again. Let's face it, oh, man. Definitely. Um, wait, let's get into it. Let's yeah, play it. Wagwan. Wagwan. <laughs> Fun in it, yeah. It's a fun track. That's Rusko all over though, isn't it? Yeah, for I've sure. read. I've read before. Like I don't know if he's he mentioned it again recently, but I've read before. He it, the whole reason he makes his sound was to sort of counteract, like, because he I think he loved it. Like he loved a lot of the dark, deep, mm. you know, just those dark vibes. He to make a name for himself and to like just counteract the darker sound. He come he came with a more funner sound. That was yeah. his whole. It was his whole premise. That was the whole thing with Rusko, man. Yeah. And when, man, when he fucking come on on a set, like, for a mm. night, there was, there was no one else like him on set. Other than maybe Casper, because obviously they would do back-to-backs, yeah, big yeah. tunes until they got too big for most promoters to probably afford their fees, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like, on the same night. Same night, yeah. Um, unless it was, like, a huge, like, you know, I don't know, like a big O2, like, mm. like, like the Bedlams I spoke about and those kind of things. But, um, 
Yeah, he goes in yeah. Vesco and when he's live DJing. I don't think I've seen him myself, yeah. but I've seen videos. Yeah, but it's not for eight, like, yeah, 2010. I might have. 10, I don't know, 11, early Outlook days as well. Mm. Did he get one of the early, early ones? Oh, yeah, he was on them, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah 2000 and I'm going to say 10 or 11. Oh, just just mohawk just flopping around like, yeah it's oh. big mohawk and of course Roscoe as well we've been forgetting man fucking smashed smashed like defeated cancer like a few yeah. years back didn't he yeah it's 2018 or 17 pretty much a few right, year, few year, two or three years ago wasn't it mad he had like I think it was I mean, re- uh, he had stomach cancer or something yeah crazy some, yeah some some like yeah some weird type of <laughs> stomach cancer but um yeah, man. Fair play to him. He, I know. I think he got he got the all clear, didn't he, from that? And that so I think so. Yeah. Big up, man. Man smashing cancer. Man smashing the tunes. Tunes coming back on what can. Um, what can't make sense for him as a home man? First, it's, it's his um, debut on mm-hmm. the on the label. Is wow, man. And uh, yeah, just some fun, fun vibes. Fun. It's any way to describe it, man. And. Um, to have him on the show had to be done yeah so had to snap up that opportunity yeah about time yeah. You, let us know your favorite risco tune let us know well, mine's pro nails remix oh, i don't know if i could pick on um, jehovah for me it was, like, it was one i've still got it in the in the yeah in the collection it's still um yeah, but I don't know. But I, I, I wouldn't put myself on a limb and say that is definite yeah. it's hard i'd have to go back again yeah crazy crazy um but yeah, big up Wakan, Wakan, um, big up Rusko, Soul CP, Boogie T. Um, of course, man, on that tune, we need to mention him. He was part of making that beat. The vocal was sick on there as well. Uh, it's Mr. Boogie T on Instagram if you want to go follow him. Um, Rusko, Rusko, very easy to find out on the socials. Um, we probably don't need to tell you. <laughs> no, they're fucking huge. Not. Um, next up, my oh, bad boy name, that boy's. Oh, oh, it's just no. it's Dubboy. Dubboy. It's Dubboy. Shit, I forgot. Yeah, solo. Roots, it's weird man. saying just one of them, though, isn't yeah. it? Um, I did see this one post on the socials. He did message me. Uh, Pick up yourself. We're talking about the man. Nightmare. Nightmare. Uh, I don't think I replied to you on Facebook, bro. I'm sorry. Monsters. Ignorant, but monsters. <laughs> um, yeah, nightmare. Comment on Sub Garden, man. Good Nothing. to see, it's man. Um, yeah, big up Rock Clem and Sabalo, of course. Them boys together. Um, we grow as one the Soul Garden motto love yeah. it and uh, Rock Clem just a positive dude man he's very active on the socials at the minute see him going live doing yeah, he did a little speech things thing. and he's just trying to I think he's just yeah he's a positive guy man and, yeah um, he definitely inspires people I think I think so yeah I think he's putting a lot of stuff out there so he can because he's on his own journey yeah on his own growth and, yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'd like to bring others, like he says, bring other people along with him, man. And uh, yeah, this one, Nightmare, uh, throwing heads. Throwing hands. Hands. <laughs> I apologise. It's all right. It's got heads on my mind. For the heads. For the heads. Heads. 140 heads. You want head. Big heads. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Throwing hands. Throwing heads. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, throwing hands. Nightmare. I, I messaged Nightmare about this one. This was, I'll get, it gave me a good reaction on this one then yeah. when I first heard it. So. Had, to, had to be done. Um, yeah, this that's one of the tracks. The other track is called... Oh, yeah, sorry. Man. The ID. The I, ID. The ID. Um, 31st of October. Yeah, man. So this one's coming out on a Saturday. Interesting. Interesting. Um, but yeah, let's play a Nightmare Throwing Hands. <laughs>
killer, man. Smashed it with that's, that one. There's low end on that. It's, yeah. You need a system for that one. Big time. I'd love to hear that raise. Because it's just relentless, isn't it? It's there. That's like mm. the constant. But then just uh, yeah, the drum work on that and the percussion, bro. It's sick, man. some pan business. It's sick. Yeah, these good. Like, we've said it before about Nine Marano, and they're just, they're underrated still. Yeah. Even though they've been in the same for time, they're underrated. We'll give them all the love needed. Mate, and they're actually sick of making Quiet. deep stuff, man. Like, yeah. love, they're so good at it. They so can't. good at it. We want more, man. We do. We want more. Well, we are. We're getting more. We yeah. ask and we get. Yes, this is true. They are. I think they've done out. a self release as well. Bank On Bandcamp, yeah. self release, yeah. Or Absolutely something. kidding it. Um, so Garden, thirty first of October. If you're feeling that one, guys, um, then yeah, go support it. Go Got it, man. Up, um, yeah, Rock Clem and Sabalo bringing us those heavy hitters from fucking all the bad boys, man. Nightmare, killer, killer, killer. Um, next up. So going back on that, it must be annoying for Nightmare because obviously he's been called Nightmare for fucking years. And there's another Nightmare, isn't there, in the oh. dubstep world, who's like massive. I wouldn't even, yeah. So it's like a bit annoying. A bit like obviously what happened with Mr. K. Oh, man, that's bullshit. About that, yeah. That's some bullshit, man. Is he actually going to change his name? I think man? so. I think it's tainted, man. Yeah, I'm good. Even though it's spelt differently. I'm good for him. Basically, for, for people who don't know. Um, there was, I think it's like, what is he like, an MC guy? Yeah, I think we should say an incident. Then it yeah. should say definitely. Yeah, he did basically is some noncy bastard. Yeah. Um, called Mr. K, not the Mr. K we know. No, not the good Mr. K. Is he not more? He's grime in it. I think he's grime. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, it's K-Y- He's done some bad shit. K A Y. Yeah. He's done some bad shit and. Now Mr. K, our oh, Mr. K, the true yeah. Mr. K, the true Mr. K, the best Mr. K. But if you say Mr. K, they can be like, oh, that's oh, that guy. Yeah. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not. It's Mr. K. Yeah. It's a shame. I think he has changed his name. I saw on. It's gutting, isn't it, to have to do that? Yeah, because like everything's under that alias. Yeah, like all your all previous you... stuff. Yeah, it's, it's annoying, sh- man. Hopefully, but it's a cool name, Mr. K. Yeah, it is. And we like saying Mr. before people's names anyway. Yeah. Do we call him Mr. Mr. K? Well, I'm just hoping he mm. still keeps Mr. Yeah. And he'll be oh. like Mr. P or something. <laughs> Mr. P. <laughs> just changes it up. Yeah, um, yeah man. Yeah, then like, hopefully, if he does change his name, then maybe we're going to have to just give him some love on like the first release under that new alias and just yeah. like, get him out there. And It's annoying, man. That is annoying. Well, his name's Kyle. Yeah, so that would yeah, be the Mr. K. So maybe you could call Smith, Mr. So S. Mr. S now. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably already one out there, though, isn't there? That's the thing. Yeah, it says, Look, ooh la la, big crew vibes occurring this Sunday, which is the one we mentioned yeah, earlier. Yeah. Croyd up, come see what will most likely be my very last set as Mr. K. Yeah, because of soon, yeah, because of a Nancy geezer. Fuck's sake, mm. there's some bad breeds out here, man. Oh, it's fucking vile, man. Hide your kids, hide your wife, <laughs> hide your husband. Get out here, out here, even there, brother. <laughs> hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husband. Everyone's, everyone's getting raped out here. <laughs> Fuck's sake. You got your fingerprint. Uh, <laughs> you are so dumb. You are really dumb, for really real. Dumb. Uh, but no, yeah, in a serious matter, fucking... Oh, fucking fuck vile geezer. bastard, fuck mate. Fuck that geezer. Um... Anyway, we he's got. He's actually gone to prison. Like it's all done. Yeah, yeah, he's, been he's done. Yeah, yeah. Two, so right, we, yeah. two right as well. I hope he never comes out. Yeah. Um, next up, <laughs> big up nightmare sub garden. Don't yeah, a little bit of news there for yeah, you. Yeah. Just the insert news. We just had to we forgot about it. Yeah. Um, next up, we have uh, a brand new name to the show. Yes, we do. Like fully, this is the first thing ever. Like him coming up on my radar too. Can't yes. say like I knew of him before. Um, Shigeru, yeah, Shigeru, um, really like this S H I G E R O, and um, it's his first self release, I mm-hmm. believe, as well. It's going to come on Bandcamp Day, 6th of November. And we thought, you know, we love to bring new names to the show, you know, discovering new names is one of the biggest benefits about us doing this thing, yeah, man. And this guy's first you know self release and project has got a real nice vibe to it man and so we thought it's worth worth supporting worth putting a new name out there i think on instagram i've just found him he is eric underscore shigeru 
uh, Eric with a C if you want to go find him um, we follow him now on the Instagram I've just sorted that business out so we can tag him up um, he's the co-owner of Conscious Wave let's dig into that one a little bit more and um, but yeah this is Shigeru man which one we playing from this project Quick so Quick Sounds that was it yeah mm. I didn't highlight it yet. We, we've got the list of names there's two other tracks on there um, Arid Soil and Ignorance mm -hmm. um, but yeah this track Quick Sounds this is it. mastered by the SBK yeah man um, but yeah let's check it out oh, final feature of the show yeah. I didn't say yeah 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 yeah, people can see the timeline. <laughs> Look at that, two hours, 20 minutes. Lord, Sorry for the waffle today. Yeah. But, oh well. They can skip a bit if they want. Yeah. That's where you got the tags down, the timestamp. Yeah. That is what you call, yeah. That's one of those tracks when you're in a rave and you just your head you got your your hood up like I have. Yeah. And you just sort of bopping your head yeah. to it in the rave, man. That's one of them. Sort of like mix. gave you that sort of feeling when I was listening yeah. that. I hear you, man. It's got like that just just dark yeah. dubstep, man. It's like Ooh, how it's supposed it's to be. Like a meditation but Yeah, yeah. Like, meditation. Just let the let the tune take over you, man. It's got like um I don't know why, like, if ever I could imagine a hip-hop artist spitting on a dubstep track, that would be the style. I would think? imagine, yeah, there's just something in the groove, the bass line, and the, yeah, just the swing. Yeah. Swinging it just made me, like, I can picture it, man. Yeah. Um, Shigeru, so to say, coming out of Montreal, Canada. Yeah. yeah, another, yeah. another one added to the Canada vibe. Canada vibe? vibe. Canada fam. <laughs> I meant to say fam. Well, the vibe as well. Vibe. Um, but, yeah, no, the... Yeah, the, I guess the vibe on that track, it just it made me, yeah. Several, yes. several yeah, MCs and lyricists I could imagine on it, man. Um, it's real, real low end. It's nice. It's mental. really nice, just, man. Yeah. That was my favourite. That's the one I commented on. Yeah. No, I, um, I know what you mean. Out of the three, it's tricky, man. If you want to go, I think, does he have a little, he's got, maybe we'll have a sample coming. Ignorance EP out 6th of November. Shigeru on um, SoundCloud. SoundCloud. <laughs> I can't speak, man. That's all we're right. at the end of the episode. It's the end. You're fine. We're, go we're going to get through it. So, uh, SoundCloud, it's forward slash S I 
S H I G underscore E R O Shigero. Um, his name will be down there in the comments anyway. If you want to go find him, like I said, it's Eric underscore Shigero on Instagram. If you want to go support this, um, I guess up and coming artist man. He's, 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 he's newish to my names anyway. Mine, I haven't, I haven't. He's not on my list <laughs> until now. So um, big up, man. I'd love to see more, brother. If you've got more coming, send them our way in the future, man. Um, even if they're not being released, you could always send us some dubs too. Yeah, please do. Yes. I need more dubs in my love life. To, love to hear that, bro. But yeah, Arid Soil, Ignorance. Go check out the whole... Um, it's called the Ignorance EP. And it's going to be out on his band camp, man. So look out for that. If you're feeling it, then go follow him to keep up for updates and find the link for that. Yeah. That's the show, cut The show! We did it. We did. We bossed that one, man. I mean, some waffle in there. Oh, proper waffle. It's going to be a two and a half hour with the yeah. outro tune as well, which I will tell you in there. Yeah. Little... We just got to apologise for the waffling, but sometimes we like to talk. It's just what we this just Sunday waffle, man. But to be fair, that's what the podcast is. It's, it's a podcast. It's, you it's, talk about stuff. Chat shit, innit? Chat shit. Get banged. Um, yeah. Little reminders. Just in case anyone that, don't forget, like we mentioned, the pull up blog. That will be linked down below if you didn't catch our September favourite mixes and producers, DJs. If you've got a mix out on a radio show, on any platform, a live stream, send us a link to it. Um, if it's from this month, October, so you can be in our next. Don't send me old stuff. I probably already mm. listen to it because if you're I'll, anything like us, we keep our ears to the I'll ground. I'll most things. Down. Yeah, we have to. I've got a different set of notes for them now. Um, yes. Uh, send those mixes, guys. We'll, if if we've got time, we'll listen to it. We won't promise to, we won't lie and promise we'll listen to every mix because our priority is tune submissions mm. and then mixes around that. When you know, obviously, I'm usually when I'm working, usually when you're gymming, that's you know, when we're that's when we're listening to these things. Yeah, man. Um, the merch, the merch, it is coming. Like we said, next week, man, we should have our delivery of it. Yeah. We'll see, we're gonna get a little photos for the store ready. So a week, two weeks, we're we'll looking at the release first week, second week in November. But sign up for the newsletter if you want to hear first and don't want to miss out. We might even have a little. We talk about that after. Might even have a little extra treat made as part of that project. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we have a couple couple garments coming, shall we say? Yes, that's what we'll say. Um, we're garments. Excited. Yeah, you will support the channel, of course. You'll keep help us keep the tempo running, pay yeah. some of the bills, SoundCloud, the website, um, some of the other platforms. We we have other ideas of stuff. We spoke. We've teased new content and other things coming. We're not we're not going to keep talking about it because essentially COVID stopping us from being able to pull off that stuff easily. Yeah. Um. We also need to invest in a bit of technology to be able to pull that stuff off. So that the money will also go towards that yeah. for sure, man. Well, um, we definitely have not stinged out on this this these garments. Oh, they're, the merch! No, we've dropped some top dollar. Top dollar. We won't, we won't go into it, but we have proper yeah. good quality. And that's what this isn't the merch. This isn't it. Though. Yeah, we haven't even. I mean, clarified that this is some old sample we weren't happy with, but it's just a new hoodie and it's Sunday, and I wanted to be cozy, so I put it on. Yeah, that's why I've got my pink one out. Yeah, it's just cozy Sundays, isn't it? I'm gonna be getting back editing in a minute getting this show together for mm. wednesday do you think i look cute in this color i think you suit that pink yeah, yeah it's a strong we need to bring it bring i think we should get some merch some colorful merch yeah like yeah white right next, in. next up let us know if you feel if you'd be feeling that get the pastel colors man. yeah we should we should do that maybe that would be like early 2021 yeah like we coming do, up to spring we could do like a rerun of if we go well and do of yeah. our merch in different we'll colour maybe we'll see how we do see how it goes yeah um as long as our costs are covered you know we already we already spend a lot of money yep running this platform so um but yeah subscribe share smash the like button if you have if you've been listening through and you haven't smash and uh if you've got any dubstep friends 140 heads who you think might be interested in listening to the show um drop a share man share the show I'd, I'd love to know um you know what you thought again what was your favorite comment down soundcloud youtube and whoever writes the best little you know don't don't get too detailed just let us know what your favorite was man and if you do have it why was it your favorite are you copying it are you buying the vinyls that we've announced the, the vinyl releases on the show that'll be sick matt the alien we mentioned it at the start man if you can support him if you can just share the link around man he had a, an awful bike accident mm. i believe it was um 
and yeah, sad, sadly, you know, he needs, he needs support. So the GoFundMe page will be there linked in the description as well, along with our links. Um, you find that at the top somewhere, man. Um, but yeah, we're going to leave you with this outro tune. Mm-hmm. As always, it's a free download. And this one we've pulled out the bag today. It's an old school one, man. This one goes back. Mm. This one we've dug out, we've done some hunting. And it's from the man Plastician. Yes, it is. The Don. Absolute Don. If you ain't keeping up with Plastician on the socials, then you need to do so. The guy's doing some sick work over on Twitch. Yeah. Doing man. some sick streams. He's doing some like um production challenges. He's been doing like pub quiz type things, yeah. man. He did this like, whole channel you themed one that mm. was just absolutely sick. Um but this, yeah, this is a free tune of his on SoundCloud. He put it up eight years ago. <laughs> Eight years ago, man, real nice, chilled, like that sort of like beautiful plastician vibe. And it's called Alone Time, which, you know, I suppose it's kind of relevant at the moment. A lot yeah. of people during COVID, man, been locked up, alone and that. I like my alone time. Yeah, same. I, I do. I like I it. I need a healthy balance of both. Yeah, social I, like, and... I like just sitting in my room, just doing yeah, nothing, just yeah. staring at the wall. It's because on... music heads do. Yeah. I like just spinning some vinyls and having yeah. a little skank in my room <laughs> waiting for the next event that we're allowed to go out and dance to which is gonna be some while away but um yeah man. yeah man hope everyone's doing good out there hope everyone's surviving you know the weird times strange times wherever you are and um we'll catch you in two weeks time man yes you will two weeks two time. weeks we'll time. be back for the end of the show basically we'll be bank camp special won't it for mm. yeah there it november one but um peace out and we'll see you in two weeks. Love you. Bye. Love you. Love you.